Well, welcome to Seamount Ride High State School, State. to Harford uh, Cable Referee, Network. Our C game of the week, it is the Seamount and Wright Rams. Uh, let's try that again. The Seamount and Wright Mustangs versus the Bel Air Bobcats in Pat Pollard, one of those traditional Dean rivalry Stewart. games that you just Side live for if you're a football player. Well, it's a crosstown rivalry, Don. A lot of these guys probably played in the same in the Bel Air Rec program against each other. They know each other well. They go to the same places, uh, socialize with the same people, and maybe even try to date the same girls. Oh, so. my goodness, don't <laughs> go there. Uh, C. Milton Wright, the home team, they are 2-1. and one. They have uh, won the two games, South Carroll and uh, against uh, uh, Edgewood. They lost to Haverty Grace. Uh, Bel Air has played two of the same Archie opponents. Mustangs. They defeated South Carroll, just the blew Mustangs them out, and also blew Haverty hill. Grace out. So if you're looking at comparative scores, they played the same teams. Uh, Bel Air is 2-0 and oh against those two teams, 1-1 one and one C. Milton, and Bel Air has had a juggernaut of an offense. Well, Bel Air is old-fashioned football, so uh, all those people out there that like uh, the 1950s and 60s are going to be in for a treat tonight. See so, three backs in the same backfield. When's the last time you saw that? It's It's been a while. Uh, it's it's uh, I, We didn't even do that when I was playing, Don. <laughs> well, you look at the offense that these teams have displayed. Bel Air in two games has 1,000 yards. That's averaging 500 yards per game. Recall they had to forfeit their first game of the year against North Harvard, so their record is 2-1. and one. On the field, they are 2-0. and oh. Well, Bel Air's going to line up in a, in a double tight end. Uh, T backfield with three in the backfield. Occasionally they'll split some guys out, but they're going to try to run it right down your throat. And then once you've brought everybody in and, and suckered you in, then they'll try to hit you with a pass or a, or a jet sweep to the far side of the field is I think what you'll see from Bel Air tonight, Don. Well, on the other hand, C. Milton Wright has played Ladies three low-scoring games so that their, their hope is to be able to hold Thank Bel Air you. down and maybe score a couple of touchdowns. Right now, we're going to be honored with our national anthem and here to honor our country, the C. Milton Wright Marching Band. And we're ready for football. Again, Pat, we talk about those rivalries, you know, Edgewood, Aberdeen, anything you want to mention, Seamount and Wright and Bel Air, like Falston and Bel Air. I mean, it is. Throughout the record books, you know this is for bragging rights. Uh, you know you win this ball game, and for the rest of your life, you can talk to that other guy at Seamount and Wright or Bel Air and say, hey, remember when we beat you on that field in that afternoon game there at Seamount uh, and Wright? It, it's a game you circle on your schedule when it comes out. Uh, both teams are ready for this one. Both teams are amped up for this one. Uh, as you know, my wife's a teacher at Bel Air High School. She said the Bel Air boys have been, have been ready all week. Oh, well, wow. yeah. And it is an afternoon game. We ought to explain that. Later or earlier this week, they moved this game to the afternoon because of, let's say, some unrest that was occurring on the Internet in terms of, you know, perhaps uh, threatened violence or something like that. Certainly, we don't believe that to be true, but in an abundance of caution, both uh, schools decided, let's move this game to the afternoon, let's get it done before the night falls, and then, you know, hopefully there'll be no issues. Well, that's that's unfortunate. Uh, you know, high school football is meant to be played under the lights on Friday night. Um, I'm, I'm glad they're still playing the game. It's, yep. probably, it's probably a couple of yahoos that are 
uh, not in any way affiliated with playing that are, that are causing that. And, Absolutely. And, uh, so we may see a little chippiness uh, uh, in this game, but I think once after the first couple of hits, I think you'll see good, solid football, Don. Absolutely. You know, we look at this Bel Air team, big along the lines. They have size on both offense and defense. They are a team that has come together under Eric Sigel. We have to mention that Eric Sigel took over just before practice started because uh, the former coach was, uh, you know, a situation where he's unable to coach this year. Eric, who's been the defensive coordinator for four years, certainly not a stranger to Bel Air. He played at Bel Air. He's coached there for 15 years. He is the first year coach, and he has really brought this team together, and they're playing as good a football as you can imagine. Well, he's, he's uh, yes, he did have to take over, but it's not like an outsider came in. He's been there for a long time. He's an alum. Played under my former teammate, Bruce Riley, so yeah. I know he was taught well under Bruce. Bruce Riley, what a guy. Uh, Jim French, the coach for C. Milton Wright. Now, here's a guy who's been coaching for a couple of years. Yeah, like 53 years Jim <laughs> French has been coaching. I've, I've never seen that stat before, Don. <laughs> 23 years at C. Milton Wright. He has coached uh, uh, baseball champions at uh, Brunswick uh, back in Frederick County. At C. Milton Wright, he is the head coach of baseball, girls softball, girls basketball, and now his first year as head coach of the football team. So he has been around. He has been around the C. Milton Wright program, even though he doesn't teach at C. Milton right he owns his own landscape company he's the kind of guy that really bleeds C. Milton Wright what you call that Carolina blue he he does and he bleeds kids I mean he's all yeah. about you know, he's dedicated his entire life to working with kids and to developing uh, young men and women and, and and you know super guy he really is and, and, and uh, as you said just a tremendous coach played at Shepherd you know, University and we know that Shepherd turns out some great great football players absolutely Lynn Carr uh, who was coach at Bel Air back in your day uh, was a Shepherd alum, so they played tough football there. Jim French says this game is going to come down to actually controlling the Bel Air Bobcats, and if you're going to do that, you have to control their running attack. In fact, they've only thrown the ball 12 times in two games, average of six passes per game, but they've scored three touchdowns on those passes. Yeah, they're like I said uh, in, in the opening, their their goal is to to, to run the football, uh, control the clock, and. Uh, control the, uh, the first down marker. Uh, that's how they want to move the ball. That's how they want to attack you with the running game. The pass is uh, just to kind of catch you off guard at the version. Uh, sort of a surprise uh, play for them. They, that's not how they're really looking to move the ball. But you watch when they, uh, when they uh, get down on the goal line, don't be afraid to see a pass. The fact is one thing that these two quarterbacks have in common, Brendan uh, Portell, the junior for Bel Air, and uh, also the senior for uh, uh, C. Milton Wright, Hunter Wright. They're both Bell great baseball players. Matter of fact, Hunter Wright is an all-metro, all-county pitcher with D1 offers right down the pike. So you know the baseball skills. Take a Russell Wilson. Take a, you know, the, the, the kid for Arizona name help me, uh, Tyler Murray. Tyler Murray, yeah, absolutely. Who are baseball players. That'll and you know they're the kind of kids, the kind of players that that instinct of being a shortstop or a pitcher comes in as a as a quarterback. Uh, absolutely, and, uh, and another kid, uh, you know, uh, one of the most revered football coaches right now in, in Harford County, uh, he's currently you not know, a head coach, but Coach Rawlings, Keith Rawlings, has been helping out with the C. Milton Wright program, and he tells me they're improving, but he told me to watch out for number 32 on C. Milton Wright, Lance Lehman. Now, I, uh, I know his older brother, Luke, he played with my son, so I'll do my best not to call Lance <laughs> Luke tonight. And uh, But I saw Lance play last year in a game, and uh, and uh, Coach Rawlings is saying good things about him. So if, you're, if uh, Coach Rawlings is fired up about him, uh, 32 is the guy you got to watch tonight. Lance Lehman is uh, averaging 4.7 yards a carry, 375 yards, 47 carries. He scored four TDs. He's already got an offer to Delaware State, so that's where he's headed. We talked about Hunter Wright, 77% completion rate for the C. Milton Wright quarterback, 487 yards passing. He's got 187 yards rushing, so look out for number 15 on that keeper or that RPO, as they call it. He's going to be tough for C. Milton Wright. Well, 77% is a, is a really high number, especially for a high school quarterback. Four wide receivers, they spread it out. Bel Air, as you said, the three backs. So we're going to see two opposite offensive strategies. One, close in, rock them, sock them football, the Bel Air Bobcats. See most of right, spread it out, try to throw the ball all over the park. Yeah, two different styles on offense, and uh, so we're getting ready to go here. Oh, it should be exciting. And I get amped up, too. When we see these rivalries, we had a, uh, a uh, girls' soccer game the other night, 
uh, between Haverty Grace and Aberdeen that went into overtime, Haverty Grace winning two to one. So the guys in the uh, truck have already said, I'm ready for an overtime game. Bel Air Bobcats kicking off in the white, the visitors. C. Milton Wright in those Carolina blue, they like to call it C. Milton Wright blue, back to receive in deep formation. It looks like number 24, that's Brian Stimke, back there in deep formation to receive the kick coming by the Bel Air Bobcats. Bel well, Air's number 42, Haldrell Andrews kicking the ball. It comes to the short man, that's taking the, it about the 20 yard line. That's Still on his feet, nice run back all the way up to the Close to the 35-yard line where Seymour will take the ball in play. First and Lehman. 10. Okay. First down, Lance play. Lehman was the running back, the guy who received the ball, got it up front and brought it back all the way to the 35-yard line. Great field position. And again, if you're the underdog, which Seymour to right Pat has to be, that's what you want to do. You want to start in a good field position. Good field position so you can run everything in your playbook. Again, we'll give you that starting lineup for the C. Milton Wright Mustangs. Hunter Wright, the quarterback. Lance Lehman, the young man that we've been talking about, is the tailback. Sean Bazetta, along with uh, Quentin uh, Shursey, Dom Jankovic, Anthony Repotelli, they are the wide receivers. Hunter Wright back in shotgun formation. Pass, a little left-handed pass out to the right flat. It's complete. Short pickup and still on his feet, but then being pushed back. A gain of maybe two or three yards on first down. Pass the plate to Repetella. Repetella is the receiver. Anthony Repetella has caught 12 balls for 98 yards, 7.7 yards Second per carry. Eight. Second down, eight yards to go. C. Milton Wright looking to try to get something started here on their first possession. Same formation, one back is Lehman behind right. Lehman gets the ball right up the middle. He breaks it. One man to beat, cuts it back at midfield. Lehman still on his feet down that right sideline and finally hemmed in and taken out. Pat, you Lehman. talked about him. What a First stud he is. Well, that started up front. He had a nice hole up front uh, running out of the spread. The zone blocking up there, big hole. He hit the hole. I tell you what, he's not going to come down with an arm tackle. Uh, not at that size. And uh, I was also impressed with his feet. A uh, couple of quick moves to, to, to get, get by some guys. Yeah, absolutely. Great the ball run. inside the 35 at about the 32. First down and 10. Wide receiver here to the near side. That's Quentin Schulze. Lehman behind quarterback right. This time Lehman is going to be hemmed in and taken Talk down a whole idea. host. Yeah, that's Josh uh, Galinas. The 6'1", 320-pound junior tackle. The rest of that line, Justin O'Bannon, he's only 235. 270 is Thomas Martino. And the little guy on the field, Cody Rush, 195 pounds. A big front four for Bel Air. Stanford Ricketts, Matt Conroy, Arnold Waria, and Gavin Yetter, the linebackers. Second down, Lehman's out of the game. Lehman is out of the game. Here's the pass coming to the near side. That's a almost a lateral. Ooh, that was or, close. That was close to a lateral. Uh, and very close to being intercepted, too, as number five, Stanford Ricketts, moved on the ball for the Bel Air Bobcats. That'll bring up a third down and about 10, a long 10. Four-play drive started back at the 35-yard line, the big run by Lehman. Pat will have to keep her eye on, see if Lehman comes back in the game, if he was just sitting out of play. He's over getting a drink. I, it looks like he's okay. Nobody's tending to him. Again, that shotgun pistol formation, if you will. Handoff inside, breaks it. Going to go down the middle of the field. Great run. It looked like number 21. Number 21, Marino. Christopher first Marino down, in the ball play. game, substituting for Lehman. Picks up a first down all the way down. Pat, that looks like uh, from our vantage point inside the, just about at the 10 yard line, first down and maybe they can still get a first down before they score. Well, center number 52, Nick Domzowski opening up some holes. Both runs have been right behind him. Another inside handoff to Marino. This time, not a lot happening. Tackle by number 58, Marino on a carry. Looks like Cody Rush, the defensive end coming in and making that tackle. That'll bring up and second down and about eight yards to go. Pick up of two. Lehman. Boy, what a nice drive pat yeah. by C. Milton Wright. Well, that was a big pickup on third and 11. Lehman's back in the game. 
Again, it is warm out here today, so uh, you can bet that some of these uh, young men are going to be taking breaks and taking hydrating uh, very well. Lehman is the offset back. Wright waiting for the snap. Still with the ball, Wright rolling this way. Flag goes down. He's going to get up good yardage and not. He, he's in for the end zone. The I think flag it's coming is back. Down. Yeah. Looks like there's a flag in the deep backfield and then one in the offensive backfield as well. Pat, what do yeah, you think they are? I, I, Probably some looks, sort of a formation or. or it looks a, like holding uh, one fans, here at the line of scrimmage. Act, judging from the. Act, judging from the body language of the Mustang players, it's against them. It's uh, we got bumped from our tower, Don. They got us down here field view. So, so if, yeah. if our uh, viewers out there can pardon us, we uh, they're seeing a nice <laughs> shot again from <laughs> our cameras, but. We are just about, uh, what, two feet above the field, so our vantage point is a little bit obscured. That's a big penalty. Instead of being a touchdown, which it was for Hunter Wright, moving it all the way back to the 25-yard line. Second down and about, uh, what, 20, 25 yeah, for the first down? It looked like it was called in the interior line, too. That's a tough call. I don't I don't think it had much on the play because the, the quarterback went uh, rolled left right from the very start on the sprint left. So. Tough call for C. Milton Wright. Second down long. Pitch back to Lehman. Cutting it outside. Boy, he is tough. That's, that's boy, Curtis Pat, you said Marino. it. That's fast, that is Marino, you're right. Uh, and not uh, Lehman, Marino in the ball game. Boy, what a one-two punch. Well, Marino's got some size to him too. I mean, he's not just tall as Lehman, but he's a stocky kid. Um, Bell Air defenders are gonna be, gonna be a little sore after tackling those two all night. Lehman is in the ball game along with 21, so we've got both backs, Marino and Lehman, in the game at the same time. Third and 13, last time they ran a draw on third and 13. And is this four down territory, Pat? I think so. It's 9.06 left here in this uh, first period, so they've already used three minutes of the clock, which is, if you're a and right, something you really wanna do. You want the ball out of the hands of the Bobcats. Right, you want to try to get five, six, seven yards here so you got a makeable fourth down. Still with the ball, rolling, Boot throwing, has a man. It's going to be caught, no, incomplete. That's Ricketts again with the defensive play. Nice job by Stanford Ricketts. It looked like Wright had his man. Now, we don't know. We haven't seen their fourth kicker, down. whether there'll be a field goal attempt here or not. Looks like we're going to get it. Yeah, it looks like we're going to. Yeah, it looks like we're going to get a kick. Looks like uh, number 34 for C. Milton Wright. If that's true, that's uh, Trayvon Jones, the junior. Now they're gonna move the ball to the side here. Yeah, they're gonna take the option of kicking it from the near hash mark. Why would you do that as a right-footed kicker, Pat? I guess he likes to hook the ball. The wind is a little bit in his face, I, I think. Yeah, yeah, that's the way I'm feeling it. Yeah, I see the smoke from the barbecue going against him. Kick is high, let's see if it gets there. It's gonna be short. Short, and that wind may have affected that. I, I, it, didn't look, it didn't look like he hit it solid. It wasn't a bad kick, but it didn't look like he hit it solid and uh, fluttered up there and just enough for the wind to hold it back. Yeah, it may have been what, maybe five yards short it looked from our angle. Yeah. So the drive, while it ends up being unsuccessful in terms of points, successful, Pat, in taking time off the clock and showing that C. Milton Wright can move the ball. Well, good drive. They got to have some confidence. They flipped the field, got it down inside the 10. Unfortunately, they had the, the touchdown called back, but, but not a bad drive. Penalty killed him. Bobcats taking over to the 20-yard line. Dub double tight, three uh, T backfield. Brendan Pertel turns and hands to the first man. I believe Great that's number one, Preston Smith. No check it at Stanford Ricketts. Tackle by number 34, Trayvon Jones! Picked up of maybe three, Jones on the tackle. I'm anxious to see Tristan Smith tonight, Don. Number one, Second uh, and seven. only a sophomore, but very quick, very fast. Already getting uh, college attention, Division One attention. 5'8", 170 pounds is Tristan Smith. He is number one. Give inside on a quick hitter, nothing at all going. All down. Good job by. All down. Fumble. Let's see if they're going to use. Mustangs have the football. The tackle. The tackle was made by, it looked like number 41, number 13, Ryland Richards. Moody, Moody with the recovery. Brent Moody, the captain of the team, 10 tackles coming in, makes the recovery. What a big break for Singleton Wright. Here's the replay, and you'll see how this fumble occurred. Uh, 
Well, just fighting for extra yardage there, and A.C. Milton Wright was able to punch it out, strip it out. You got to cover it up in tight like that. Ball pops loose. Good at the play by the Mustangs. Line. First big break of the ball game goes the way of the C. Milton Wright Mustangs. Taking over on a short field at the 22 yard line. On the right, the quarterback, Lance Lehman. In the pistol formation is Hunter Wright. Flag goes down. Uh, Flag on the field. Motion or maybe even delay. Let's see what it was. Going to go against C. Milton Wright. Uh, again, that one penalty, Pat, as you said, shot him in the foot, and you certainly don't want to give up yards, free yards. No, you get the, you get the big play. You don't want to come out. Well, maybe. Oh, now it's going to go against Bel Air. Oh, wow. All sides, Bobcats. All, All sides. Side. Must have lined up in the neutral zone, huh? Although the ball wasn't snapped. Yeah, I, I couldn't see it Still from here. I don't know if he jumped down. and made contact or not. I didn't either, but it's good for the C. Milton Wright Mustangs. They were backing up like me. They thought it was a procedure penalty. Instead, yeah. first and five. Ball at the 17 yard line. C. Milton Wright has trips to the right. Rolling. Looking, throwing, has a man. It's going to be caught touchdown! in the end zone. Mustang! The touchdown to Number Anthony Ripportella. So it is a 18-yard, 17-yard touchdown pass going from Hunter Wright to Anthony Ripportella for the touchdown. Well, I don't know if Beller got confused there or not. See, Milton Wright sent trips out. It's the first I've seen that formation. Sent trips out to the right, and they all just sort of split apart. Uh, Repertella came across the middle and, and he was open. He was wide open. Going for the nice, one point conversion. Nice throw too. It was that. Trayvon Jones this time hits it perfectly. The point is good. And through it goes Off for Jones and the extra Bobcats point. Zero. I think that kick would have been good for the field goal. <laughs> it would ago. have been, <laughs> yes. So seven nothing the lead for Seymour to right. They score at 8-12 left here in the first period. A Hunter Wright 18 yard touchdown pass to Anthony Ricortella. Ricortella, his favorite receiver, 12 catches on the year, 98 yards, and now has the touchdown. Well, was, uh, he got a little pressure off his uh, right side, off the right end, and nice play by Wright to step up in the pocket and, uh, and, and make the throw. Boy, Pat, if you're the Bel Air Bobcats, you come in with averaging, you know, you've been scoring 1,000 yards you've been gaining, and you know, your opponent hasn't really been able to score a whole lot. You find yourself down. 7-0, lucky to be down 7-0. You could have been down 10-0 or 14-0. Well, Don, they, you know, for all the hype and, and all the trash talking before this game, Bel Air, to me, looks like they've come in flat. Uh, I don't know if it's because it's a 5 o'clock game and you've been in school all day, or, uh, but, but uh, C. Milton Wright is pumped up, and, and Bel Air needs to find something here soon. 7-0. Remember last year, the Bobcats uh, destroyed C. Milton Wright. Here's the kickoff. Jones hits it a line shot it's coming down and out of bounds it goes so a flag will go down and Bel Air will have good field position Pat you don't want that to happen no you want it to automatically give him the ball on the 35 yard line on the Mustangs. and that's where the ball will be placed at the 35 yard line good field position for the Bobcats Brendan Pertel the quarterback for Bel Air Jalen Reeves Tristan Smith and Stanford Ricketts that's the trio of backs that run in the backfield Pat, as you said, sometimes they go to that wing tee, but normally, now they're going to put the ball down at the 40-yard line where the Bobcats will start. So well, great field position for Bel Air. Looks like they're breaking out of that tee now. They've got two guys out to the left. A tear for that Mustang defense. Justin Dill, Andrew Yingling, Justin O'Bannon, Noel Tyler Sims, Alexander Vlangus, and Thomas Martino from that offensive line for the Bobcats. Again, the tight formation, two backs behind. Handoff inside, still on his feet and running, breaking it down the left sideline. He gone. can go all the way. He's gone. That is number seven, Jalen Reeves, as Reeves on one play. Bobcats, number seven. Jalen Reeves, the six foot, 204 pound senior, rushes a 60 yard touchdown play. So in one play, the Bobcats have evened it up at six or seven six with a chance to even here with the extra point. Well, I just said Bel Air needed to do something to 
find find a little something here. They thought they came out a here little flat. Here's you'll see how he broke through. Pat, how did he get so free down that left sideline? Well, let's see here. Well, he, he had good blocking. Play. He was untouched all the way to the corner and uh, good size back with good speed, broke the tackle on the corner. You get a, a back one on one in the corner, he ought to be able to make break that. And the extra, extra point is seven, good. The kick there by Darius Ashman as Ashman adds the extra point. Reeves on a 60 yard touchdown run. One play drive, we're now tied at seven. Well, now we have a ball game. We really do, and if you're Bel Air, that's exactly what you needed. You'd be in a little self-doubt maybe coming in, but they have these three backs. I mean, you look at them, they're averaging 13-6, 9.0, 11.6, and then you throw in Brendan Pertell, who's only averaging 19 yards a carry. That's a tough, that's a tough quartet to go against. Who do you key on? <laughs> Nobody. So that touchdown coming at the eight minute mark, so it took Bel Air exactly 12 seconds to get this game even. Now, if you're the Mustangs, what do you got to do, Pat? Well, you, it's it's tie ball game. You, you've moving the ball. You've moved the ball both times. You stick with your game plan and uh, run your offense. No big deal. Seven seven. And it's a very good point because Bel Air is a quick strike. They're a, they're an offensive juggernaut. The longer you can keep the ball out of their offensive hands, the better. Good Ball's going to hit, and it's going to go into the end zone, I believe. Yep, good kick. Yep, and it will be a touchback, the ball at the 20-yard line. That's what you want to do. Again, Please. that whole thing was set up, Pat, as you know, by the out-of-bounds kick on the kickoff. Beller getting great field position at the 40-yard line. You know, conversely, now when Beller kicks it off, C. Milton Wright's going to have to start at their own 20. Well, they got great field position, and I couldn't get the number, but I said that they had twins out to the left. Uh, and they got good blocking by the receivers. You get receivers that have blocked, that ends in big runs. They were blocking down at the second level, and that's what really sprung him. So here come the right Mustangs now. They got the trips to the left this time. To the near side is Dominic Jankovic. Inside handoff. Boy, good, nice, quick hitter. Give a lot of credit to that line. Cam Wood, Brian Armentrott, Nick Domzowski, Vito, and I'm going to try this name, Ani Zada and Dion Jones. And Vito, if I mispronounced your name, I do apologize. We've been practicing that name before the game started. Ani Zada. How about we'll just stick with Vito? <laughs> Vito, that works. <laughs> uh, big gain of four yards on first down. Again, the Crips, as you said, to the near side. In fact, they've got the fourth wide receiver here flanked on this near side. In motion is Lehman. Pass coming this way. Oh, great, great defensive play. Was that Ricketts again? Yeah. yeah. Stanford Ricketts coming in to make the play. Great play by Ricketts. Not only beat the block, but made the tackle. Um, he's been all over the field tonight. That's three or four times he's made a play out in the open field. Yeah, I think I'd give up on that little pass in Ricketts territory. No gain on the play. In fact, he may have lost a yard, third and seven. 6.55 and counting left here in the first period. Hope you're enjoying this game. Harford Cable Network on the air for the 26th year, Pat, and so happy to have you along here this year. I'm excited to be here. Five receivers, two to the near, two to the far with the ball. It's Lehman. Lehman's going to be hit near the line of scrimmage. Yeah, bring that's up a little, a little down. A little conservative there on third and seven. Yeah. Just a straight dive. Yeah, you're right. Uh, Marino on the last carry, fourth down. It was Marino and not, uh, it was 21 and not 34. So Christopher Marino, he stopped for almost, uh, well, maybe give him a yard, fourth down and six. Pointing the ball is Logan Dvorak. Looking for the good snap. Gets it. Plenty of time and he booms at a high, Booming kick, it hits and takes oh. a bounce for Seamolton Wright. And there, if uh, you know you want to say something to Tristan, you say, down, Tristan, come counts. up and catch that ball because if it bounces, they pick up another 20 yards, which in, they did. In Tristan's defense, the kick the kick was high, but not real long. He, I don't know if they had him playing too deep or not, but he had to run a long way to get to that. And if you don't feel like you can get to it, especially with the kick being so high, there was a Seamolton Wright defender right there. Um, 
Uh, I, I, if you don't feel confident, you got to let it go. It just uh, unfortunately for Bel Air, it, it, it rolled about 20 yards. Well, Pat, that's a great uh, observation because you know nothing worse than coming up and bobbling the punt and giving your the other your opponent field position. That ball at the 24-yard line where the Bobcats will take over first and 10. They got their twins out to the right this time. Handoff inside. Boy, great job look, of that Mustang look defense. Like a, look like a bobbled snap. Remember, they had that fumble earlier that led no, to... Yeah. Couldn't tell what happened there. Fumble that led to the touchdown, so that is no gain on first down. Well, they do give him a yard, second down and about nine. Brendan Pertell, the junior quarterback. Second and nine. Seven for 12 passing on the year for 142 yards and three touchdowns. So in 12 passes, he's gained all that yards, Pat, and the touchdowns. Pertell hands gives to Smith. Smith oh, has a hole that closed really quickly and he goes down. Lehman on a tackle. Looks like the tackle was by Lance Lehman. L Lehman and Domzowski came in and finished it off, but uh, uh, Tristan Smith's and quick sophomore, but welcome to us. Uh, welcome to a big Keys. senior. They're down a six yards to go for the first down. They've got to get out near the 35 yard line. The ball is resting inside the 30, about the 29. What do you call here, Pat? Well, they're back in the full uh, full T, double tight T. Long count, turns, keeps the ball. He's gonna be short of the first down. Well, they, they stuck with their bread and butter on third and six. Uh, look, it's going to be short. Maybe they're thinking four down territory. Looks like Pertell keeps the ball. He comes up maybe about a yard short. Boy, would you go for it here in your own territory early in the ball game? Well, if you're John Harbaugh, you would. Uh. <laughs> and we know how that worked out. <laughs> yeah. Not so well. But, oh, what a play. This is going to be fourth down and one. I'm not sure Feller has the analytics. The analytics probably say go for it, but uh, well, will they traditional just, football, you punt. Now, you're back tying your shoe is Pertell. I think they run power. I or do they just I try to draw them offside? I think you see Reeves here. Give it to your big back. They're going to give the ball. Oh, he He's hit and stopped. I don't think he got it. First and Tackle by Brian Stemke. Wow. Big hit on Stemke there. Huge hit. Wow. Knocking uh, Tristan Smith, who's not a big kid, 5'8", 170 pounds. Oh, I think he lost yardage. Yeah, he Last hit. Big hit. Number 24. Lost All about right. a yard, so we'll be first down Stemke. and 10 for C. Milton Wright. So one time they recover a fumble. This time they take over on downs deep in Bel Air's territory. Ryan Stemke making that big tackle. Let's see if the Mustangs can capitalize here with the ball. That's the big guy. That's Lance Lehman. He's picking his way through. Okay, Good run. Lance Patient. Who does he remind you of? Just he, he, he seems to be, yeah, he's big and strong. Tackle by number 56 and number 23. But he waits for the tacklers to come up and then make his box. Second and five. That, that looked a little like Levy and Bell, maybe not quite as quick. But yeah. Uh, but uh, just yeah. patiently picking his way through. Yeah. He didn't do that jump cut that no. Le'Veon does, but uh, yeah. it was effective. He picked up about five or six yards on first down. Hunter Wright. They give to Marino this time. Marino with good yardage. Boy, give credit to that line. Good push. Cam Wood, Look at that. Look at that push on the line. Nick Domzowski. Number 21, Chris Marino. Ido Zada and Deontay Jones. What Back a push. And that's going to be a first down. Give them Bel Air a taste of their own medicine with the power running game ball inside the 25 at about the 23 yard line. First down, Mustangs. Seven nothing the Mustangs, I should say seven seven the score. Mustangs had scored on their second possession after taking the ball on the fumble. Had a chance to score on the first time. I don't know if Bel Air's defense is getting tired already or not. They've played a lot of football in this quarter. Back to throw right looking. Has his man, great catch, leaping up to make that catch. That is Jankovic. Jankovic is down near the goal line. What a catch, catch what a nice throw. Team. He went Jankovic. up at the apex of the ball pad and caught First that ball down. Went right down near the goal line. Yeah, Jankovic running a slant out of the slot position. Uh, he high pointed the ball, nice catch. Takes a lot of guts to reach up like that over the middle. 
uh, and finished off a nice run afterward. He almost got in. Dom Jankovic, number 18, the senior. C it is first and goal. C. Milton Wright really looking to capitalize off of that uh, four down turnover. Ball at the three yard line. Wright, this I time under I center. I formation. That's unusual, they haven't had that yet. This time to give is to Marino. Off the left side looking for yardage, picks up one or two short of the goal Marino line. Looked like the tackle by Matt Conroy. We praise Lehman. Lehman's got to make a better block on that. He was the up back, playing fullback. Six foot, 190 pound sophomore. Conroy come up making the tackle. Gain of one. Now it's second down and goal. The ball at the two yard line. That's a four play drive. Started deep in Bel Air territory at the 34 yard line when they went for the first down on fourth and one. I mean, you admire Bel Air's guts to be able to make that call, but uh, right now it doesn't seem to be working out. Still in the eye. Second down and goal, ball at the two. Quarterback sneak. Quarterback sneak following his center. Touchdown! Touchdown, Seymour from right. Boy, give credit to Nick Gonzalski. He just took the center of that line and pushed him backwards. The Flag goes down. So the two yard run by Hunter Wright not sure what the flag could be. The play only lasted two seconds. Touchdown. Could it be celebration? Afterwards. Oh, yep, boy. yep. Celebration. Yeah. They're going to call unsportsmanlike. Yeah, Here's the replay. You'll see how he's able just to burp uh, behind that center. That is a former quarterback. That's a great feeling to have a center that clears that line out for you. You can just ride him right into the end oh, zone. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I was lucky enough to have two good ones, Ricky Pullen and Keith Rawlings. Being just a little bit modest in that you were all Metro quarterback there at Edgewood back in the day. The only undefeated team in the history Touchdown's of Edgewood good. High School, you quarterback. Was that 1982? 1982. Not that we remember, that's only what, uh, 40 years ago? It, it was Something like that? Not quite, Don. Almost. <laughs> just about. <laughs> How about four decades? It was a long time ago. Uh, the memories are still fresh, right? I did play on this field, though, although it was an artificial turf. <laughs> uh, no. You attempt the extra point. Trayvon Jones, oh. it hits the upright, and it's going to be no good. Extra point is no good. So that'll leave With the score, score at 13-7. 13, 7. Now, remember that, that. I mean, you know, you look at a game that looks like it's going to be at least at the outset close. The missed field goal and now the missed extra point. Yeah, uh, not quite tight in their kicking game yet. Uh, just missed, hit the upright, but but it, but great drive though. Way to take advantage of the turnover. Absolutely. If you're Bel Air Bobcats, yeah, you tried it. You show you're willing to do it. But if you're C. Milton Wright, you got to say, hey, you know, we're going to play you head up. We're not intimidated. You come in here with a thousand yards in two games, throwing all those points. We're well, going to go head up against you. Yeah, Seamilton Wright obviously came to play. They got a lot of pride playing on their home field. They, I mean, they're 2-1. And, one. and uh, getting better every week, Coach Rawlings tells me. And uh, unfortunately, he couldn't be here. He's up in at Yale to, to watch his son, Kurt, quarterback the uh, Yale Bulldogs tomorrow. But he, uh, he's, he's excited about this team and how they're improving. I think Bel Air's only run about six or seven plays in this whole quarter. I think you're right. They had the fumble. And then, of course, the... Unable to pick up the fourth down. Here's Jones to kick off. Now let's see if he can keep it in play and not give Bel Air the short field. That happened last time. He does. The ball is fumbled. Finally, it's going to be picked up and down he goes. The ball is going to be just about at the 40 yard line. Tackled by Nick Calazzaro. And let's see, who was the young man number 23 who brought it back? And that was Caden Morris. Caden had a little trouble picking that ball up. Uh, I've been there before as a shortstop. It's Usually a, you don't get those kind of bad bounces as a shortstop. Well, that's, uh, the football Maybe doesn't bounce evenly. It's an tackle. odd shape. <laughs> now the Bobcats will again have good field position, this time at their own 39. Remember last time a one-play drive when they were, had the ball at the 40-yard line? Now they're, okay, now we're in motion. Here, there's the jet sweep. Ricketts trying to cut back. Boy, give the Seamilton wow. Mike Mustangs their pursuit ball goes down a fumble flag but i the think the, the flag will go down it looked like maybe a late hit well i, I it looked like a, a bel-air running back got thrown to the ground after the whistle blew 
Um, the refs are going to, with all the things that happened this week, I'm sure the refs were talked to by the athletic directors, and they're going to call this game tight. Uh, we couldn't exactly see from our vantage point what happened. Because yeah, the sun, uh, beyond <laughs> being close <laughs> to the ground, the sun is right in our eyes right now. So yeah, you know, well, that's uh, not a great position to be looking well, at a football well, game. Well, well Riggett's lost his helmet and looked like he was thrown around. A ball came loose, I guess, late. But, uh, well, it's uh, a great play by C. Milton Wright. They stopped him for no game, maybe even a loss. But it looks like uh, the officials are talking about it. I'm not sure what they're going to come up with. Maybe unnecessary roughness? Face, Face mask, mask is the call. Well, that makes sense because I saw his helmet rolling around whenever you see the. And a personal foul. Are they going to call. Mask, are they going to call two penalties on the one play? No, I think it's just a 15-yard face mask. Okay. It's a shame for the Mustangs because they defense that jet sweep. Also Text a personal foul on the Mustangs. Oh, you're well on top yeah, of that. They Maybe are. it's a dead ball personal foul. Uh, yes, it was. What a huge penalty against uh, yeah. C. Milton that's, Wright. That's, that's not smart. You got to keep your head. You're up 13 to seven. You're playing great football. You got them second and long. Face mask sometimes is accidental, but uh, you got to keep your head on the other stuff. The ball goes from the 32, that's the Bel Air 32, to the C. Milton Wright 35. I'm not good at math, but that sounds like about a 30 yard penalty. Well, I mean. Wow. It should have been second and 13. So now the Bobcats, let's see if they can take advantage. With the ball, rolling, being rushed, has a man, but misses him. Pass by Brendan Pertell. Put the ball behind his intended receiver, and so they'll bring up second down. Had a little pressure on him from Domzowski, but he's, uh, but he's, he's got to get that ball out in front. First time we've seen down. quarterback Brendan Pertell on the rollout. Pertell, not a big kid, 5'9", 145-pound junior. I'm told he's pretty quick, though. Yeah. As evidenced by his 19-yard rushing average. Yeah, seven for 12 passing. That's his first pass of this ball game. Back to the double tight. Second down, 10. Handoff. That's to Tristan Smith, and oh. Smith is going to be hemmed in, and the helmet comes off again, and the flag goes down again. That's the second time we've seen a great play flag by Seymour to the right. Apparently going to be negated by, is this going to be another face mask? Now that one was right in front of us, Don, and I didn't see a penalty there. I saw a good play and, and the helmet just came off. Personal foul against the Mustangs. Yeah. That's going to be a 15 yarder. And so now 45 yards and penalties against the Mustangs on this particular yeah. drive with 22 seconds left in the first period. I, I just, I, I didn't see that one, Don. It did look like a great defensive play to me. Right now, the officials, I think, are the leading ball carriers yeah. in the ball game if you throw yeah. out Reeves' 60-yard run. Officials call a time call to the play. Mustangs. That will be a timeout yeah. for C. Milton yeah. Wright. Boy, if you're Jim French and the C. Milton Wright side, uh, penalties. I mean, yeah, the one was just a stupid after-the-play penalty, but... Again, like you said, Pat, uh, the officials are much closer than we are, but I just saw a good tackle and the helmet popped I, off. I saw the defensive end play it nice, held the edge, and the linebacker came up and made Don't a good stick. Don't be on the sideline by Payne. ATI okay. Physical Therapy is, is proud to 22 serve. 22 seconds left County. in this first uh, period. It's been an exciting Air, first period. 13 to 7, 20 points in the first period needs. alone. Contact your local ATI location for a complimentary injury assessment and position Mustangs referral. leading by Don't that six recover, points. Conquer, ATI physical therapy. And again, we remember the missed field goal. We remember the missed extra point. This could be a 17-7 game now instead of 13-7 where the Bobcats with a touchdown extra point could take the lead. Right, and uh, 40, 45 yards and penalties. Yeah. <laughs> I think they have a negative yardage in actual plays on this drive, but 45 and penalties. Hey, we were watching a game, They've Edgewood playing at, at Howard Bobcats. County probably before your time, Pat, where uh, they had about 80 yards in penalties. They just kept throwing the flag. The home crowd, of course, cheering Howard on. Forrest Weiss was not a happy uh, young man. No, I'm sure he wasn't. <laughs> First down. The ball looks like it's outside the 20. This is Reeves. It's going to be hit and held. Looks like 18, Dom Jankovic making that tackle on this near side. Three-play drive on the tackle. started at the 39-yard line of Bel Air. Again, as we said, 45 yards and penalties have helped the Bobcats move the ball. 
And that is the end of our first That's period. That's the end of the first quarter. With your score, Mustangs 13. See Milton Wright Bobcats leading by seven. 13 to 7. Again, the Mustangs taking advantage of a fumble and a uh, attempted fourth down conversion with short fields. Also then missing a field goal. So they have really played well in this first period, Pat. Well, nearly the entire, uh, of the entire game has been played on the Bel Air side of the field. See Milton Wright uh, flipped the field on that opening drive. Couldn't punch it in. Uh, holding penalty, had the touchdown call back, but uh, uh, you know between the, the yeah you're right the fumble and the turnover on downs led to two scores. Uh, Bel Air's coming off the quick strike one play uh, by Reeves. Yeah. So yeah. Um, Bel Air's threatening now. So it's a good ball game. Well, again, it's arch rivals. It is the rivalry week. Uh, the Mustangs playing against the Bobcats and. Obviously, uh, they would love nothing better, the home crowd, than to defeat their arch rivals, especially since the Bobcats are off to such a great start. Well, that's uh, that's bragging rights for the whole year. And Bobcats two and one, see Milton Wright two and one, but in truth, the Bobcats, the only two games they've played, they Ladies won. Let's hear for Black the Alex loss Susie, was, a, uh, was a forfeit loss, of our Mustang. which is unfortunate. Uh, you know, the, the kids were a game taken away from them against North Harvard that they didn't get a chance to play on the field. But, you know, if the rules are violated, then they have to be enforced. That's right. And with that forfeit loss, it, it puts a little pressure on Bel Air. They can't afford to lose many games if they expect to get in the playoffs. Six. Now right into the sun, at least our vantage point. So we'll try to be able to call the plays for you as much as we can. Second down and about, uh, that's a short eight, double. long seven. Back into double tight. Look for him to run off tackle. Brendan Fertel, right up the middle it goes. That's Reeves, gets a good hole. Carry by number seven. Tackle by number 24. Brian Stimpy with the tackle. Give Andrew Yingling, Justin O'Bannon, Noel Tyler Sims, Alexander Vlangus, and Thomas Martino, that front line for the Bobcats. Pickup of about five. Third and two, you can do a lot of things here on third and two. Yeah, it is Obviously fourth down they're going to go for it on fourth. Think. Yeah, 11:34 yeah, and counting left in the half. You just tuned in. Where you been? Hey, this has been a good game, Pat. Right? It has. Obviously, you want to see two arch rivals being able to I play think their you best football. I think you see Bel Air here stick with their bread and butter. Uh, keep it inside. Oh, he moved. He did move. Uh, yes. Smith field. moved. It looked like number oh. one of Reeves, maybe, or checking number one, Tristan Smith. Yeah, that's a that's a bad mistake on All third and one. Bobcats. And that's going to cost the Bobcats five yards on the procedure penalty. I don't know if Smith was getting the ball there or not, but he was anxious. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> he was gearing up. Block yeah. catch him number 10 in the ball game for the Bobcats. Well, still just third down. Third and about uh, five, a long five. Belair now out of the tee. Uh, twins out to the left. Brendan Pertel gives the ball to Reeves. He's got the first down and more down inside the 10 yard line, I believe. Seven on a carry. Well, nice, nice blocking there. That looked like the same play they ran for the touchdown. It will be a first down, first down and goal. The ball looks like it's resting at about Tackle the six yard line. Nick I, I think I would keep uh, running that formation with the twins out. You spread them out a little bit, and Reeves running over behind that left side. I think you got something there. Justin Dill flanked out to the far side. No, keeping the ball. Purnell looking to throw, throws it back, and Passing misses complete. this man. Second down. Well, we said at the opening that Bel Air will, will run the ball all the way down the field to get on the goal line, and they'd look for the pass. Uh, and that's exactly what they did there. And see Milton Wright knew that tendency. They talked to the coaches talked to me about that ahead of time. Pat, I'm trying to see the number of that see Milton Wright player that put the pressure on uh, Purnell. Purnell had to throw the ball probably before he was ready. Not to second guess the Bel Air coaches, but I will. I'm not under, not sure why <laughs> I, you're doing that when you're when you're having success running uh, the ball. I won't second guess <laughs> them, but yeah, I will. <laughs> second down. Purnell. Turns, gives it to Reeves, and you following your example, I think you should be coaching. Give it to the big fella. Give it to the big guy. Touchdown. And for the second time, oh, Jalen yeah. Reeves goes over Number for the seven. touchdown. A six-yard run by Jalen Reeves. Well, that, that, that pass play on first down could have been a disaster. The ball gets picked off for a sack, and 
And um, yeah, or I was it simply a ruse to be able to spread out the Singleton right defense? Well, I come from the Here's the replay you'll see on this yeah. run. Yeah, give credit yeah, to nice Noel blocking. Good Tyler hole. Sims, the yeah. center, along with Justin O'Bannon. Good kick. And the yeah, extra the point is, is good. good. Well, and I so the Bobcats take the lead at 14-13. I was saying I come from the Ray Pollard Forest Lee School of Play Calling. When you have something working, if it's you, you, you keep running until they stop it, and then you make them stop it a second time before you switch off. So the Bobcats now have taken the lead, their first lead of the ball game. We were tied at seven. Mustang scored to go up 13 to seven. Bobcats now have made both of their extra points, and Seamilton Wright has missed one of its two and also missed a short field goal. So well, let's, if you're looking let's, for a difference in the game right now, that could be it. Well, let's not forget that that uh, drive started with a three-yard loss on a first down run, and 45 penalty yards later, Bel Air was in business. Boy, very good point. So the football gods give it, and they take it away. You fumble the ball, you try on fourth down, and then you get 45 yards in penalties to your yeah. favor. Nice booming kick, Good coming catch. down, snagged it. Nice run back. Boy, he Turn is a horse. Lance Lehman. Lance Lehman. Oh, they're going to get C. Milton right for unnecessary roughness at the end of the play. They went after the kicker. Flag on the field. Wow. So another 15 yards added to that, so now 60 yards in penalties. Right in front of us. First I didn't think it was as egregious, but you got to understand they're going to call that tonight. So instead of having the ball outside the 40-yard line, the Mustangs are going to start at their own 25. They're killing themselves. That, that's just not a smart play. You've just seen the, the refs be quick with the whistle on some personal fouls, and you go after the kicker late. You're, it's going to be a penalty. Jim French, the veteran coach uh, for the Mustangs, his first year as the head football coach, has to be disappointed in his team in the lack of, uh, of discipline. Yeah, there's, I, I know that's an emotional game, and uh, they've been pumped all week, but you've got to control those emotions. Warm day, uh, probably the temperatures in the 80s, Pat, when we started. Afternoon game, not used to playing in the afternoon. Back to throw is Hunter Wright, rolling now, throwing the ball, has a man. It's going to be all, almost intercepted. Was that Stanford Pass Ricketts? No. No. Instead, it was number 39, Corey Cuomo, Cuomoni. Corey will replay that one in his mind's eye on Second TV. And 10. Right well, in his breadbasket and well, not able to pull it in. That's the old saying, you know, that's why he's playing defense. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, it's a center fielder. I never played much center field, thank goodness, because of fly ball. You know, how many thoughts go through your mind as it's coming down to you? Give me a quick play. Let me make that quick play. Third base, I like it. In his defense, he had good coverage on the play. Yes. Second down now. 24, 24, 24. Hand off. Good D. Very good D. Good that pull. whole defensive side, Justin O'Bannon, Josh Galinas. 12 on the tackle. Looked like it was, uh, was 21, Christopher Marino. They give Matt Conroy the tackle credit. 14-13, as you see, it was 7-0, 7-7, 13-7 C. Milton, now 14-13 Bel Air. Third down 11, a big, big down coming up for the C. Milton Wright Mustangs. Yeah, this is a big down. You feel the momentum shift a little bit. You don't want to turn the ball over to them in good field position. And again, they would have had the ball at the 40-yard line. Do you remember that? but for that penalty that pushed them back. Trips to the right, they like to watch 11 here. They like to hit 11 over the middle on this. 77% pass completion rate for Hunter Wright coming in. Back to throw, good pocket, throws it long. It's gonna be overthrown down that left sideline. Good coverage. Passing complete. Ball was well thrown, but just about a yard fourth or down. two long. Good that will bring up fourth down. Good coverage by Kwamini again. Yeah, see now that's you know with the 15 yard penalty and not picking up any yards now, you're punting. Beller's going to get the ball, probably in C. Milton Wright territory here. Beller coach is moving the back up. Every last time he wasn't able to get up the field the ball and he got a 20 yard roll. Quentin Schulz with the punt, nice oh, he, high. He got a hold of kick. that one. Fielded, missed one tackle. 
coming down the sideline. Still on his feet. Down the sideline he goes, cuts it back. This is Tristan Smith. Smith goes all the way down that sideline. Touchdown, Tristan Smith on the reception of about the 65, 55 yards, but a flag is down. I think that's going to be excessive celebration. The refs aren't letting anything go here. Uh, Tristan Smith, I mean, we heard about this kid. We heard that he's getting recruited by Division One schools, and you just saw why right there. That was his Hollywood Brown, Lamar Jackson, all-in-one <laughs> imitation. Just May a sophomore, 55 yards. Fel fielded it well at, on the run at about the 45. Took it right oh, down the left sideline. I, I thought it was a celebration that this might be getting called back. It looks like a personal, personal foul. foul. That must have come in late. Wow. Wow, let's, big let's penalty. See, let's see if you take that off the board or did it occur after the touchdown all right it looks like it here's a replay you'll see his uh, running down this sideline let's see if we can see the penalty well maybe oh, here, here we comes go. the replay you see he receives touchdown. it at about one, one actually the 35 yard line two three four good block, nice block. there good cutback Oh, that's what they called? Oh, come on, guys. <laughs> I mean, they, 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 I thought C. Milton Wright got a bad call earlier on one, and I don't agree with that call either. Let's see wow. now. Where are they putting the ball down? Are they going to say the – what was the penalty, Pat? Was oh, it now a, they're saying the touchdown counts. And they, okay, so they didn't call that. They're, so it was after the play. The way C. Milton Wright was lining up, it looked like they were going to call it the, 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 the touchdown back. So it was a 65-yard punt return. We're not getting great communication here. By Don. Tristan <laughs> Smith. Yeah, we don't have access. Bobcats. Bobcats do take a timeout to line up for that extra point, leading now by 20 to 13. We'll what a run by Tristan Smith. Took great. the ball at the 35. How many uh, tackles did uh, you say he broke? Yeah, I, at least five, and he got a good block in there as well. I didn't get the number, but he got a good block in there as well. Um, uh, it, you know, the, the flag went down, and I thought it was late, and... But the C. Milton Wright looked like uh, they were talking to the refs. Looked like they were lining up at about the 25-yard line. So it looked like they're taking the touchdown off the board. But now they're setting up for the extra point. Yeah, the touchdown is on the board at oh. uh, now 2013. So the Bobcats, who were down 13-7, now apparently have scored the next two touchdowns and have taken the momentum right away from C. Milton Wright. Well, it helped those 45 yards and penalties that gave them good field position. We may look back. I mean, uh, we'll see how this game plays out, but we may look back at those three penalties as a turning point in the game. Cause, yeah. cause, and uh, then the penalty, the, the fourth one they got that pushed them back from their 40 to their own 25. We're talking about C. Milton Wright on right. their next drive. Going after the kicker, yep. 13-20. Beller's going to go for two. Like they're still talking about it at the line of scrimmage. They being I'm not Brendan sure Fertel. why they're going for two here. You think they would want to get up eight, but they must have a play they like. Fertel gives it to Reeves. Reeves is stacked up at the line, pushing, pushing, but not going to get there, and so it's going to remain at That's 20 to 13. No yeah. They watched. Uh, I think everybody watched uh, John Harbaugh this weekend, and uh, we're going for it in fourth down deep in our own territory. We're we're and going for trying three going two for two point conversions. When, it, when maybe you, you think one puts you up eight. I don't know. I guess yeah. they wanted to get up nine, but now a touchdown <laughs> and an extra point ties it. And I think, Pat, the, the excuse of um, analytics, I mean, what is analytics? You know, well, you look at the score and you say, hey, if I score a two point conversion, I'm up by, by nine. If I don't score, I'm up by seven. Well, Edgewood High taught me that math, and you just... Uh, <laughs> you the math didn't work. You, you, you just lost the advantage you gained from C. Milton missing their extra point. Well, the Mustangs are now down as Tristan Smith. Two long plays by the Bella Bobcats. One, a 60-yard run by Reeves, and the other, a 65-yard punt return. Mustang fans, it's time to rise up! Darius Ashman to kick off for the Bel Air Bobcats. Another low squibby kick. Nice bounce comes up right in the hands of the Mustang receiver. He's going to oh, get good this. yards. He could break down that sideline. Looks like number 34, number Trayvon 34, Jones. Trayvon Jones! 
Trayvon Jones caught it at about the 40-yard line, took it all the way down into Bel Air territory. Well, Bel Air squib kicked it, and it bounced right up to him, and he, yeah. so he caught it on the run moving forward. Yeah, the, if you're going to squib it on turf, you now, have to depend on the I. ball sort of skimming along. Instead, that one came up. Trayvon said, thanks a lot. I'll take this right on back for you, down inside the 40 at about the, what, the 30-yard line? Inside the yeah, 30 at I the 29. So a short field for C. Milton Wright. See if C. Milton Wright can take advantage of this. Well, if you're the Mustangs, that's what you needed. Handoff, Marino. Number 21, Chris Marino. Well, you talk about two backs that have size and strength. Marino and Lehman, both are big one nine. Yeah, It didn't look like there was a lot there, but he got five yards. Yeah. The old Tom Matty run. Those yeah. old Colt fans will know that Matty never looked like he was gaining yards, but he always ended up gaining five or six or seven. Looked like an old guy I used to play with. I know you know him, Chris Cullum, running fullback at Edgewood <laughs> High School. <laughs> Chris Cullum, <laughs> number 34 in your program, <laughs> number one in your heart, right? Yeah. A little counter, quarterback counter. Yeah, that's Hunt. Nice run. That could go. Now he's down near the goal line. That's Hunter Wright. I love it. Number 15, Hunter Wright. Pat, he stayed there for a moment, just like it was a broken play, and then took off around that left side. Yeah, quarterback counter. Look like they, they, they faked the ball. First uh, down, Mustang. First down and goal, the ball at the five-yard line. Faked the ball to the back, hesitated, and, uh, and, and took off, and he made a nice cut, nice move on that run. Wright has 187 yards rushing coming in the ball game. Wright's quicker than I thought. Yeah. Turns. Touchdown. And touchdown. touchdown. Wow. Mustang. Wow. That's Trayvon Number Jones in the ball game. So a three-play drive from the 29-yard line of Bel Air. Jones scoring for C. Milton Wright. Here's the replay. You'll see how it opens up on that left side. Just a uh, nice cut, and then he was almost walked in untouched, uh, Pat. Great, great pull. Uh, our man Vito. Uh, made <laughs> Vito. The, Vito made the uh, pull there. Uh, 73, great block. And here's Jones now to try to tackle on the extra point. Scored the touchdown, and now he's going to try to tie it. Kick is up, and the kick is going to be the extra point is good. good. Number 34. We're tied at 20. Jones. So well, 7.43, we're tied at 20. With 20. your score, Mustangs 20, Bobcats 20. Well, I wonder if the Beller coaches are going to be second-guessing that decision on their uh, from the, the going for two. Yeah. I tell you what, there will be a lot of time to look at strategy on both sides. Uh, you know, and missed opportunities. But right now, we have a whale of a football game. Pat, if you'd have said, you know, what kind of game as a spectator would you like to see? 2020 with 7.43 left in the first half? I'd take that. Not the funnest game to coach in, a fun one to play <laughs> in, and a fun one to watch. And a fun one to telecast. <laughs> Two teams that are playing at a very high level offensively. Defensively, well, yeah, there's some issues, but offensively, it's been an exciting game. Well, well, just like, uh, just right as Bel Air seemed like they were starting to take control of the game, see Milton right with the, with the big kickoff return. Yeah. And, and then on the quarterback counter, nice play on the quarterback counter, and bam, they're right in the game. Yeah. Tie, tie ball game. And give the Mustangs all the credit because you know, you could have folded. You're looking at a Bel Air team that has been a juggernaut offensively. They get up on you 20 to 13. Looks like they got it all going. They didn't give up coming back so now let's see what the bobcats can do to try to counter that with a score tied at 20 7 43 left in the half here's jones this time he booms it long coming down by the bobcats received there by ryan sterling and sterling will be hit and held just about at the 25 yard line hit by brent moody one of the captains for the sea molten light mustangs well, now we've got momentum shifting back a little bit. Let's hear it for that Mustang defense. Boy, I'm really liking the PA system here at Seamilton Wright. <laughs> <laughs> I needed this ears cleaned out. Uh, it's, it's a great thing to see kids coming out, enjoying this. As we said, Pat, just a shame that couldn't be played on a Friday night under the lights. Uh, we're playing it Friday afternoon. But uh, I'll tell you what, right now, these kids and the fans and spectators don't care. Well, the C. Milton right side is completely full, and the stands over here is uh, more than standing room only. 
The Bel Air fans have showed up. Well, they there's have to come a long way. What, three miles? Oh, yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> we uh, got even got people up on the hill in their lawn chairs. Do they have to pay, or is that free? Is that like uh, I Wrigley think, Field? I think that's free up there. I'm Mike on the it. field. I was out at Wrigley Field uh, a few years ago. I, you know, those seats in those uh, hotels across the road, they tell me they charge like hundreds of dollars, the hotels do. Delay a game, Bobcats. To see the, the game from outside the stadium at Wrigley. Well, the bleacher seats are more expensive than the yeah. uh, lower box behind home plate. I want one of my bucket list at Fenway Still, Park. I want to be in the, in the monster seats. I want to be there yeah. someday. So out there in TV land, if you want to take up a collection, <laughs> just <laughs> kidding. What an awesome sight to uh, be able to see that game from 37 yeah. feet high. Absolutely. Well, here we go now after a delay of game. Is that a fumble? No, Hit the backfield, Reeves. number 24, Brian Stimke. Jalen Reeves is able to ha hang on to the ball, but Stimke makes that tackle. It's going to be a loss after a five-yard penalty. Now it's another three- or four-yard loss on first down. Don, I'm impressed with Stemke. He's oh, playing yeah. great defense from the linebacker position. Yeah, good call. Brian Stemke, one of the inside linebackers, senior number 24. Second and 17. Second down, about 17 yards to go for the Bel Air Bobcats, a drive that started at 25 and has gone in reverse. 2020, as you see, our tie score, seven uh, minutes just about left in the first half. Brendan Pertell, the quarterback, gives it off. Good hole. That's Smith. Domzowski on the tackle, the center. Smith, uh, you know, is a is a little kid, really, relatively, in football, 5'8", 170 pounds. Nick but he is quick. Domzowski's a tough kid playing center, opening holes from the center position all night. And Mustang inside linebacker down. as well. Is that number? No, I don't want to hazard a guess on the number. Oh, that's Lehman. That's Lehman. He's up. Looked like he may have just gotten winded or maybe he got hit and the, maybe the wind knocked out of him. Again, one of these two-way players. Here for number 32, uh, Lance Lehman. Pat, you talked about it. Keith Rawlings, our good friend who helps out here at Seymour can write, talking about Lehman. What a stud, what a hoss he is. He, he is. Uh, his father you know, played professional soccer in Germany. So, oh. so athletic genes in the family. Yeah. Jim French, by the way, played uh, IFL football, I believe he said. One of the uh, leagues uh, that he played at. Uh, we talked about Jim French. Let me read his resume. If I could. Bands, it's third down. Played at Brunswick High School out there in Western Maryland. We know about Brunswick. Middle linebacker, played at Shepherd U and played four years in the IFL football league. Third down now and 11. Officials calling a timeout. Time out, Mustangs. 6.15 left here. What a big, big down here for the Mustangs. If they can stop them, Pat, and force a punt. they got plenty of time. Yep. Try to go up before halftime. You know, this is how you want to get Beller. Beller does not like to throw the ball. You get them in these third and long situations. They don't have a lot of third and 11 plays in the playbook. They've thrown the ball 12 times coming in. I think they've thrown it once tonight unsuccessfully. So you're right. They like to you know, run the ball down your throat. Counters, power plays. Oh, although anytime you have Reeves and Smith in the backfield, though, they're, yep. they're, uh, they got the potential to go to the distance anytime. We talked about 11.6, 9.0, 13.6, and then throw in Brendan Pertell with 19.0 every time they touch the ball and running it. Two big long plays, one a punt return, 65 yards, and one a run of 60 yards. Third and 10. Those are the big plays for the Bobcats tonight. Third down, a long 10. Keeping the ball is Pertell. I don't know if that was a broken play. It looked like he was looking for somebody to throw the ball whistle to. Whistle blew. Jeez. Comes out with the ball, but uh, Sorry, but number 11. the whistle had blown, and that will bring up the fourth down. I couldn't tell whether that was a design play, Pat, on a quarterback down. draw. I, I, I think it was. I, I think they were had everybody overflowing left and fake and have the quarterback come back. Not, not so much different than the, the big play C. Milton Wright just had on the quarterback counter. Darius Ashman now, the, the not, punter. Nice defensive stop by C. Milton Wright. It really was, three and out for the Bobcats. Waiting for the snap, it's a good one. Nice high end over end kick. Lehman, checking out Lehman, but Marino. 
Marino, good yardage across the 50 yard line down to about the 45. Yeah, they're back in business. First down, Mustangs. Ball inside Bel Air territory at the uh, 45 yard line. Nice had a, had at least three changes of momentum in this game, Don. I think <laughs> it's almost swung back to the powder blue. 20-20, our score, 5-23 left in the first half. It has been a back and forth game where the Mustangs led. It was tied, then the, they took a lead at 13-7. Bel Air went ahead 14-13, 20-13, and now it's tied at 20. Ball at the 46 yard line. Hunter Wright, the, if you're a C. Moulton Wright quarterback, why not have a name like Hunter Wright, huh? Right for right. Timeout, Mustangs. C. Milton Wright, uh, the superintendent of schools. I'm not sure if there's any relation there. Do you know, Don? <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> C. Milton Wright, uh, <laughs> who was the superintendent of schools from 1915 to 1945, Pat. I remember it well. I would like to welcome uh, our alumni. He was here when they dedicated are, the, the school, or Burke Brown, I forget which. Thanks but for being here tonight. He said, he was you know, like 85, 90 years old at the time, and he said, you know, someday they're going to look at this black and they're going to say, who the blank was C. Milton Wright? <laughs> and it's true, people say, who was C. Milton Wright? Well, just to educate you all, he was, again, superintendent for 30 years and then wrote a book called Our Harford Heritage, which was the definitive book for a long time of the history of Harford County. Yeah. Seamilton Wright. And he was also my friend Rob Preston's from Preston Stationery's grandfather and, and uh, former Bel Air Town Commissioner. Well, there you go. <laughs> and his uncle, I think Charles T. Wright, was the superintendent before he was. Is that enough history for you there in you one go. time? Let's get back to football. Let's get back to <laughs> football. Flag on the field. Flag goes <laughs> down. That was Mar that was Christopher Marino carrying the ball, but I think it's going to come back. Don't know what it is. Yeah, Move illegal procedure. Move movement on the line. What a whale of a football star. game, Pat. Mustangs. You know, I didn't pay to get in. I snuck in, but I would have paid to get into this game. <laughs> well, there was a big line, and uh, people looked at me like I was crazy, Still but I just walked right down. to the front, and I, I said, this is going to be embarrassing if they don't believe I'm with Harford Cable Network. <laughs> <laughs> I would have come out and rescued you. <laughs> yeah. I said, I'm on from Hartford Cable Network. And she said, well, I'm from Seymour to Wright. So what's that to you? Yeah. No, very, very kind to us here. Oh, nice uh, little counter play. He's free to go. That's Lehman. He just, Barry, number 32. I tell you what. Uh, let's Lehman. Pat, I if I'm a defensive back, I'm Marcel not going to get in his way. Mustang. I'm going to pretend like I had a hamstring and go down and hope he trips over me. I, I think he's the kind of back that as the game wears <laughs> on, you get guys uh, diving at the feet yeah, on yeah. him. <laughs> Nobody wants wow. to stick their shoulder into what that guy. What a run by Lance Lehman. He rumbles. 375 yards, 47 carries, averaging 4.7, four TDs coming in. Headed for Delaware State, got a 3.5 cumulative GPA. This time it's Marino cutting it back inside. Carry number 21, Chris Marino. Like a two-headed monster, you know. Number 54. You get Lehman coming, out, coming at you, then you get Marino, and if you don't like that, then they throw Jones at you. Second That's right. And five. Second down five, the ball resting inside the 30-yard line. Well, actually just about at the 30. Nope, nope, let's uh, say it's at the, at the 25 now as I look across the field, right at the 25. They've got to get down inside the 20 for the first down. Four minutes, 22 seconds left in this first half. Wright keeps the ball, runs around the left side. He's got the first down. No, he's knocked out of bounds before he gets there. Nice defensive play. Pushed out by number 39. Looked Good like the same play they ran for the touch, or not for the touchdown, but the, yeah. to, to get him in position for the touchdown. That was the last Corey Kwamini who made that saving tackle that would have been the first down. That's carry number 15, Hunter Wright. So the previous play, they gave it to Lehman coming around. Uh, from the wing position that time they Third faked it. Third and four. Wright kept the ball. Yeah, if I see uh, Lehman coming around, I think that's who's going to get the ball. So it's a well-designed play. Give Kwamini a lot of credit for staying home and making that tackle. Third down and a long two, short three. Beller looks like they're blitzing. Here they come. Jones spins, still on his feet, but he's not going to get there. And now here's the decision. I guess it's really not much of a decision. It's too long for a field goal. Fourth down, you're 
well in Bel Air territory, I would assume they're going to go for it here. Yeah, they're going for it. Good defensive call by the Bel Air coaches. Jones on the carry, 12 on the tackle. Came up, came up uh, close to the line, filled fourth the gaps. I think four. confused the blocking a little bit up front for C. Milton Wright. Boy, big fourth down right here. This is, again, another momentum changing down. It the is. Mustangs still can get the first still down. plenty of time for Bel Air if they stop them. Jones, the only man in the backfield, along with quarterback Hunter Wright. Light Pass. being chased, rolling, and down he goes. Big tackle there by 75, Justin O'Bannon. O'Bannon tracking down from the opposite side. Boy, the speed of Justin O'Bannon, six foot four, 235 pounds, but he ran like a sprinter. He did, he got out of there quick. Looked like Matthew Judon coming around the edge. Great play, Wright never saw Here's him. Here's a replay you'll see. Watch how O'Bannon never gives up. Looking to throw, Wright had his eyes downfield. I'm not sure he ever really saw him. He probably did hear him coming. Just all speed there coming off the edge. Justin O'Bannon, the six foot four, 235 pound senior headed for either Morgan or Delaware State. And either of those two schools will get a real stud if they get him. Well, he's going both ways. He's playing left guard on offense. Here come the Bobcats. Gives it Smith. Tackle number Who 32, else? Mr. Lehman. Lehman. Does he actually bring out the water also? And He's <laughs> <laughs> he does a little bit of everything. He does a lot. That, that's uh, Smith gets the ball. You got to get on him quickly. You can't give him room. That's exactly how to play. And we talk about speed. I mean, we talked about O'Bannon. Second and ten. How about Lehman chasing down this little guy, Tristan Smith, the 5875 pound sophomore. Yeah, no, Lehman. Lehman moves good for a big fellow. Moves fast for a big fellow. Second down and ten. Handoff. Is this Reeves? Flag goes down. Flag on the field. Not sure what that could be. It wouldn't be a hold, you wouldn't think. In those Holding close. No. Bobcats. Well, that's yeah. what I know. <laughs> He threw that flag right in the pile. It looked like a scrum going on there, but somebody was holding. So that's going to back the Bobcats up 10 yards. Yeah, that's a tough penalty. We've seen a lot of flags on the field uh, both ways. Uh, one that took a touchdown away from C. Milton Wright and three that moved them down 45 yards, the Bobcats. And then another 15 that moved C. Milton Wright back, and now it's the Bobcats who... Still second down have the laundry thrown against them. Second down and about 20, maybe 21. Well, this isn't the down and distance that Bel Air likes. They like to play on the short end of the sticks. 233 left and counting in this first half. Handoff. That's for Tell though, the fake handoff and a fumble. fumble. The ball is loose. Does C. Milton Wright have it? Let's let the officials call it. Nope, they're gonna yep. say he was down. Wow. Mustangs looking for their second recovered big turnover. By the Bobcats. Now they're saying recovered by the Bobcats or that he was down. I'm not sure, but in any case, the Bobcats will hold on to it. C. Milton Wright thought they had it, Pat. They did. They, the, the, the C. Milton Wright players were all indicating that they had it, so I'm not sure what, was, what they saw or if the ball turned over inside. Turned hands sometimes at the bottom of that pile. Strange things happen. Well, the clock is running. I'm not sure how many timeouts C. Milton Wright has left, but 145. It's third down and 12. If they could stop the, the Bobcats, they would have a chance here to put another score on the board before the half. Third down, 12. Inside handoff. Good yardage, but it's going to be well short of the first down for Reeves. Bring up a fourth down, fourth and about seven. I'm shocked C. Milton Wright's not calling timeout here. I don't know how many timeouts they have left. I've sort of lost track of it. Tackle for number 74, Deontay well, Jones. Well, there's my answer. The scoreboard's showing zero, so that's maybe my answer. <laughs> I'm, I'm, Mustang, I'm, I'm told fourth that, yeah, down. told by the truck and by my partner, Pat, that they have no timeouts left. Well, is that now I know why they're not calling. There them. you go. <laughs> they could have <laughs> called one, but it wouldn't have counted. I'm, I'm now the Bobcats are going on for it, fourth down with 57 seconds left. I can't. Uh, oh. Trying to get him to jump here. Yeah. Yeah, and Bel -Air calls delay. Time. yeah, yeah. Yeah, they got a, They have to punt here. I you was thinking that. Yeah, that first yeah. Uh, they went for it fourth and yeah. one and didn't get it. Timeout, so right. Bobcats. The Bobcats do call a timeout, so they didn't yeah. cost themselves five yards on the delay. 
We just wanted to see if the Mustangs would jump. Right. With 50 seconds, you got to punt the ball away. Bel Air gets the ball to start the second half. Pat, let me ask you, if you were C. Milton, would you try to block this thing? Or yes. Would you, would yes. you line up for a return? Yes. You, you, you got no timeouts left. You get the ball back with about 40 seconds. I, I think you go for the block here. Be careful. You don't want to rough him, but you, I think you go for the block here. We'll uh, see. Especially try to make something happen. Bel Air's going to get the ball to start the second half, so you want to uh, you want to see if you can uh, – create something here before right before halftime. Well, for the first half, it has been a, just an enjoyable half of football. Again, if you're a spectator, if you are a commentator, not so much if you're a coach, because there have been decisions on both sides that have been head scratchers, and we as commentators and sideline quarterbacks, we can say, ah. C. Milton Wright's not convinced Bel Air's uh, going to punt the ball. They're lined up in their base D. Now they drop back. Now they drop back. Let's see if they go after this punt. Even if they rough him, still, you know. Looks like they're going to play base D. Watch for the fake. Yep. Ashman. High punt. Very, very high punt. Jones backs away from it, and out of bounds it will go. The ball at the 40-yard uh, line, just outside or inside the 40. 43 Flag seconds left. Flag goes down. Pat, if you're a C. Milton Wright, are you going to try to score here or just sit on it for the uh, for the half? I think so. you got a quarterback that can throw the ball. you got some backs. I, I think you try to do something here. Let's see you're what in the good, flag you got is good about. field position. Let's see if it's going to go against. Uh, well, let's see. I don't know. They're not talking to. Holding against yeah. C. Holding C. Milton Wright. That, might, uh, that may change your thought that process. That may change your thought process entirely. We have seen a lot of penalties tonight. Uh, not saying that the penalties were not deserved, but we have seen a lot on both sides. I think if you're C. Milton right here, you, you I, I think you run a draw, you spread them out, try to run a draw or a counter or something, and if you can get 10 or 15 yards, you line up and spike it and, and then try to do something. If you don't get anything, then you, you just get it to halftime. Well, you go to victory formation and just, uh, yeah. you know, I'm not sure, does Beller have any timeouts left? Beller's got two. Well, it has two left, so they could call. Or one, I'm sorry. Has one timeout left, one. so they could call one timeout, but the Mustangs could run the clock out you know, with two snaps. Twenty twenty again, it was Seamilton Wright leading 7 nothing, then leading 13-7. It was 14-13 Bel Air, 20-13 Bel Air, and 2020, and that's where we are. Two big runs by the Bobcats, one a 60-yard run by Reeves, the other by Smith, a punt return of 65. Hunter hands it off. Yeah, I think you just run out the clock here. That's I think Marino. that's what uh, the Mustangs are going to do. Tackle by number 90, number 74. Bobcats look like at this point they're not calling that timeout. Timo Dwight goes into a quick formation, though. Pitch back. Oh, half half back, back pass. Long pass up in the air. Battling for the ball. Caught. He's got it. Caught down that sideline. That's Dominic Get Jankovic. The Get up on the ball and spike it. The pass clock will stop until they set Dominic the clock. Jankovic. Great catch. First down, Mustang. The 50-50 ball is great catch. Marino with the pass on the halfback option. Jankovic with the catch. Going to spike here. They do. Three, Three seconds, seconds there. off. Good. That's ten seconds left. Good job by the C. Milton Wright offensive line to get up there and uh, only lose three Here's seconds. Here's the replay on that pass play. You'll see Marino gets. He has a lot of time, almost a hold there on the block. Official timeout. And you see Jankovic going up and making the catch right at the top of the apex of the ball. Well, I love the call. I mean, it looked like they were going to try to run out the half and uh, come with the halfback option. I love the call, but. Uh, I tell you that the Bobcats were not fooled. They were playing back. They were in good position. Yeah. Uh, just uh, made a great, made a great play on the ball. And good blocking by C. Milton Wright to give uh, Marino the chance to throw the ball. Jankovic, right, Jankovic yeah. what has he's got the touchdown catch? He's got about three catches tonight, yeah. I think. Three seconds left. I should say three seconds went off the clock. Seven seconds left. It's going to be incomplete. That time Passing Wright complete. was pressured. He looks at the uh, referee and says, hey, how about roughing the passer? <laughs> Doesn't get it. Everybody else has got a late call today. He's hoping to get one <laughs> himself. 
Let's see now, two seconds left on the incomplete pass. Put him in the pressure that time was number 88, Jacob Grew. So this will, we think, unless there is a defensive penalty, the last play of the first half. Exciting, fun game to watch. Hunter Wright, uh, the quarterback for C. Milton Wright, 77% completion percentage coming in. Lance Lehman, he's everything that we were told he would be. Whistle blows. Don't see a flag on the field, but the official said we weren't ready. No, delay of game they're going to call. Huh. Didn't see a flag. Flag on the field, the delay of game, Mustangs. Well, we'll get an idea for uh, Hunter's arm here. See if he can get it in the end zone. All Metro, all county pitcher, left-hander. Oh, there's a hole. Throwing the ball on the run, it's going to be incomplete. It falls down. Pass incomplete. That was Stanford Ricketts who came up. Ladies and gentlemen, that's halftime. With the with almost score. interception. Mustangs 20. 20 to 20 Cats is our 20. score at the halftime. Pat, what a half, huh? Well, we saw uh, some, some great runs. We saw a punt return, some great passes, some Harvard turnovers, some hard-hitting defense, fourth down Thank stops, you and stay missed safe. kicks, made kicks, Thank and after you. it's all said and done, it's 20 to 20. Well, don't go away. It should be exciting time in the second half. We'll be right back. 20-20, our score at the half. Don't go away. Well, back with you, just ready for the second half to start. Uh, Pat Pollard, if you could have drawn out for our purposes in terms of television, a better scenario, 2020 at the half, arch rivals. I don't think you could have done a whole lot better. No, sir. A little bit of everything in that first half. Like I said, closing out, runs, passes, hard hits, penalties uh, were a big part of it too. But uh, momentum shifts. Yeah. Uh, several momentum shifts. Uh, it's it's uh, and and here we go. It's 2020. Yep. Uh, it's finally Friday night lights. There you go. And uh, almost seven o'clock. <laughs> Bel Air doesn't convert on the fourth down. Uh, C. Milton Wright, uh, they, they go for a two-point conversion. Bel Air does. They don't convert. C. Milton Wright, uh, you know, uh, gets a touchdown that's called back. So there have been, as you said, momentum changes and chances where one team and then the other team would have had a chance to blow the other team out a bit. And it just hasn't happened. So now we've got, what, 24 minutes of football left that will decide the bragging rights of Bel Air. Well, I think if you're C. Milton Wright, you, you, you gave up a couple big plays and uh, lost your head a little bit on the drive with some penalties, although yeah. I thought at least one of them was very questionable. Yeah. Um, so so you got to be feeling pretty good about yourself. Yeah, if you look uh, at the, the Bobcats, they score on a 60-yard run by Jalen Reeves and then a 65-yard punt return by Kristen Smith. So those two big plays, you know, take those away if you're C. Milton Wright, and then, you know, you're in control of the game. But that's sort of Bel Air's a mode of operandi in terms of, you know, their speed, their quickness, their ability to convert uh, with, hit you from so many different directions with, you know, with Jalen, first of all, with Tristan, you know, just players that can beat you in so many ways. Right, and, and on the flip side, if you're Bel Air, you're, you're coming into this half thinking you didn't play your best football. You, yeah. You turn the ball over twice, once on downs, one fumble deep in your own territory, and you're still in a tie ball game. So I think both teams have a lot to look forward to. I think I think it's going to be a great second half. And the Bobcats do get the ball here uh, to start this second half. And there's the kickoff beginning the second half, a high end over end kick. Coming down, taken by a number three, and that is uh, Justin Dill. And a flag goes down. Well, why wouldn't we see a flag? Because we saw them the whole first half. Flag on the field. What was that, uh, Pat, do you think? Uh, it, it, it's got to be on C. Milton Wright. It was on the tackle. Uh, two flags came in. It's uh, Like I say, from our vantage point on the far side of the field, I couldn't quite tell what it was. Um, possibly a horse collar. He was being grabbed from behind. I, I don't know. I didn't see a face mask. I didn't see a late hit. Last so, tackle, number 48, Brendan Lawrence. C. Milton Wright coach is obviously very concerned about the call. The officials are talking it over. This is a long conversation. Uh, this is the kind of time when, yeah, they're going to say it was a personal foul. I thought maybe they would pick the, uh, I mean, maybe they the got, flag up. Maybe they got somebody coming in late. I, flag on the Mustangs. Well, they had a much better view than me. It was all the oh, way yeah. on the other side of the field. And there were two flags thrown, so it wasn't like one right, official right. said, I'll throw a flag. 
right? This is, the, I mean, C. Milton Wright's got to clean this up. This killed him in the first half. Yeah. You, you, I mean, we're in the second half now. I mean, you're the, you, you got to be smarter than that. You All just, the way out to the 40-yard line, which the it should have started at the 25. Right. How, you how made much a, difference you, does that make? You made a nice play on the on the on the kickoff team, and uh, you just can't do this. Well, here we go now. Let's see what the uh, Bobcats can do. Brendan Pertell, Jalen Reeves, Tristan Smith. Beller's got trips out to the right. Jalen Reeves with the ball, cuts it back inside, short game. Seven on the carry. Bobcats taking over again at their 40 yard line. Second down and about eight. About eight, I couldn't see who was on that tackle. It was uh, yeah, the inside. Light side to Vito. Dom Jankovic, perhaps. Vito Ana Asada, we believe, is how he pronounces his name. Vito, if we messed it up. Trip, trips right again. Bel Air coming out with a new formation. Yeah. Bobcat's not in that uh, power formation. Here's a pass. It's going to be right. caught. Caught for a first down. Pass complete number 10. Brock Ketchum. Well, that's something we didn't see from Bel Air the whole first half. Yeah. Two plays are down now inside Seymour to right territory as Brock Ketchum comes off the field to the congratulations of his teammates. Clock stopped at 11.03. I'm not sure. I guess just resetting the down markers. Pat, I'm not sure what's going on. I'm not sure. Now it's running. I'm not sure what the. Yeah, they've reset the. Uh, down markers, we're ready to go. The ball at the 45 yard line, first down and 10, 45 of C. Milton Wright. Bobcats on the move. Changing the play, it looks like, is Brendan Bel -Air, Patel. Bel Air's unbalanced here. The tight end can't go out. Well, he, just as and I mentioned, on the move. Field. they're, they're, like they're the swinging uh, two backs. They got a splint end over there, and they also got a tight end. So it's really an unbalanced line. We were told to look out for that. Uh, Maybe got game. just a little I'll, bit too I'll cute, uh, Pat. The, it looked like uh, Brendan Pertell was changing the play yeah. at the line. Some of the uh, linemen got the play, some didn't. Going to cost them five, so it'll be now first and 15, right at the midfield stripe. Now they have the trips formation again over on the left side. On the far side of the field. Brendan Pertell. The starting quarterback, Brendan, a junior, baseball player, looking, looking, throwing, incomplete. Looked same, like he was trying for catch him. Same play that they just ran for the completion of the right. They just ran to the left, tried to throw the same guy. Uh, just not an accurate throw. Brendan Pertell, not a big guy, 5'9", 145 pounds. Kind of your size in high school, <laughs> Pat. You probably were about 170 or so in high school. Yeah, right? Second and 15. I don't think what I saw team. 145 since about <laughs> the sixth grade. <laughs> Undefeated Edgewood High School Rams, uh, 1982. Here's the pass. Oh, Smith and nice. boom, oh, down yeah. he goes. That's Vito. Vito. Well, I like the PA announcer calls him Vito. We're going to try the last name, Aniazata. Vito Aniazato, the big tackle, 17 tackles coming in, three sacks, headed for Bowie State. Well, I wow. don't care what you call him. Don't call him late for dinner. He's <laughs> a big kid and uh, made his presence known on that one. And don't call him late to yeah. the huddle, too, yeah, because he, he was in the backfield of the Bel Air Bobcats. He just swallowed him up. Third down, third and 15. They've got to get all the way down to the 35 to the Bobcats. Handoff. Looks like that's Reeves. He's going to be well short of the first down, but it could be fourth down territory. Now, do they say it's a fumble? See, Milton Wright's coming out. Jones comes away with the ball. Yeah, they're not going to give it to him. I think see, Milton Wright's got a fair argument there. I never really heard a whistle go either. Actually, it's Brian Stemke who came away with the ball. They're going to say it's Bel Air ball. Fourth down, fourth and ten. Bel fans, it's fourth down. Bel Air's going to punt. Ashman in to punt the ball away. Darius Ashman. Darius both the punter and the uh, place kicker. Oh, they almost got it. Little pressure. Nice high booming kick. Fielded there by Jones, and he falls on it. But did he lose it? Bel Air ball. Is it Bel Air ball? Bel Air ball. Yes, he muffed the punt and then lost it. 
Recovered by the Bobcats, number 23. Recovered by the Beller First Bobcats. What a break for the Bobcats. That was Caden Morris who made that fumble recovery. Well, it was a real high punt. And high school football, you don't always have specialists back there, guys that field them every day or field very many. And Here's the replay. You'll see how he caught the ball, or at least tried to, and then had a chance to fall on it. It appeared that he was going to. There's the fumble. Now we're not going to see that as we now go to offensive Well, play. they're back in their traditional double tight. Ball at the 15-yard line. Reeves, boom, down he goes. Hit by number 24 for Ryan Stemke. There's that young man you've been mentioning, Stemke. Stemke's had a big game from the linebacker position tonight. Second and 10. Let's hear it for that Mustang defense. This drive starting at the 15-yard line after that fumble recovery. Second down and 10. Give to Reeves again off the right side. He's going nowhere. Coming in to make the tackle. It looked like 18, uh, Dom Jankovic. Jankovic was not going to be moved out of there. Gain of maybe a half yard. Third down. Third and Third still down. a long nine. See what now this is definitely four down territory unless well, they want to attempt the field goal. Well, Bel Air came out to start the half, spreading it out a little bit, and they, after this punt, they've gone back to their full house tee, and uh, they're staying in it on third and nine. Smith and Reeves in the backfield. Rolling, rolling, hit. No, he stays on his feet. Now throws the ball away. No, he has his man in his stride. That's incomplete. It's fourth. Oh, oh, what a play. Flag down. Flag on the field. Flag on the near side. Pertell got that ball away. I think Smith wanted to run before he actually put it away. See what the flag is about. It's on Holding Bobcats. Holding is the call against the Bobcats. Now, do you accept it? Do you make it third and, and 20? Or do you make it fourth and nine? I think I push him back. You're too close to the goal line here. I think I push him back. And you're not sure about Ashman in terms of how far he can kick the field goal. You know, no. Portell rolled now out there and looked like he was going to. Well, they declined it. They so. declined it. So Ashman is coming in now. We'll yeah. see. I, I, uh, we'll uh, see if that decision is going to come back to haunt C. Milton Wright. They could have pushed him back. Instead, they're going to let him kick the ball from about the 20 yard line. Yeah, be about a. Looks like about a 30 yard field goal attempt. Haven't seen Ashman kick except the extra points, which he's hit well. Dean Dugan to put the ball down. That's a nice kick. That ball is going to go through the uprights and a 30-yard field goal. Flag on the field. Flag is down. Let's see what that's all about. I think that's running into the kicker. 30-yard field goal now, by Ashman. Now, do you take? Yeah. Do you take the points off the board and? get the first down or do you leave that those points on the board another big decision if Eric well, Siegel well let's see if it's the five yard type or the oh unsportsman, unsportsman against Bel Air flag on the Bobcats that's probably a dead ball foul yeah, I'm thinking on the I think they're going to leave they're going to leave the points on the yeah. board but that means the Bobcats will be kicking off from their own what 25 yard line which should give C. Milton Wright great field position I didn't see what that was, Pat, did you? I, I didn't either. Uh, somebody must have been mouthing off at the end of the play after the made kick. I mean, it's, uh, you know, I, I didn't see it, so. I'll so now you go back, Jim French has to think about that decision not to push him back. Ashman came in, he could have kicked that ball again from, you know, 10 more yards out, but. Uh, well, Belair coaching staff, very hot with their players. They, uh, just an unnecessary penalty. You, you, you make a great kick, you go up, get the fumble, make a great kick, go up, and now you're going to give him the ball with field position because uh, just a dumb mistake. You can't, you can't get yourself in position. I know emotions are high. I know it's a rivalry. Like you and I thought when the, the, the guy came in from C. Milton Wright trying to block, we thought maybe he had run into the kicker, and that was a penalty, but it was something else, something against Bel Air. Ashman now will kick it off from his own 25 yard line after that 15 yard penalty. 7.43 left in the third. Nice high kick, going back to field it. That's Jones. Jones has a head of steam on the right side. He He's can gone. go. Jones down the sideline. 
2010. I see no flags on the field. Touchdown. It is a touchdown. Number 24, Brian Stemke. Check it, it's number 24, they say Stemke. I was thinking it was 34. No, he's right, our PA announcer's right. It is it's, Brian it's Stemke. Stemke, 24. Yeah, you'll see the replay here. Well, Bel Air's kicking from deep in their hole after the penalty, there, so that, that didn't help. Special teams. That kick's probably down near the goal line if there's not kicking from there, but wow. It's Stemke, yes, number 24, not number 34, and it is a, let's see, what is that, a 75 yard, it was from the 35, so a 65 yard return for the touchdown. He was hardly touched. 65 yard punt, uh, kickoff return, and now just like that, it's now 26-23 C. Milton Wright. So the Bobcats took the lead briefly, and then with 7:31, well, picking up right where we left off in the first half. <laughs> <laughs> the old back and forth game. Fumbled punt, field goal, and a kick return for a touchdown. That didn't take long. Number 24, Brian Stemke, and not 34. And 34 now Jones to attempt the extra point. The kick through. is going to be the good. Extra point is good. So Number Jones. So that'll make the score now 27-23, see Milton Wright. Back and forth it goes. This game started, see Milton Wright up 7-0. It was tied at 7, then see Milton Wright 13-7, then Bel Air 14-13, Bobcats 20-13, tied at the half at 20. Bobcats come out, get a field goal to go up by 23-20, and now see Milton Wright counters. They score, make it 27-23. And there was a little jawing after that play, Don. The refs really came in. So, uh, you know, both coaches and staffs need to get a hold of their players because, I mean, these uh, you're really going to hurt your team here. And again, Pat, that penalty after the field goal set up the long kick return. As you said, the kick would have probably been down near the goal line and said it came down at the, uh, I guess, about the 30-yard line. to make it a 70-yard kickoff return by Brian Stimpy. Jones to kick off, Trayvon Jones, 7.31 left in the third period. What else can happen here? Nice, long, booming, Best high kick. kick of the night. Coming down Stanford Ricketts. Ricketts has a hole. And down he goes from behind. Just as he was getting ahead of steam. Hit by 42. Yeah, that's uh, Isaiah Witherspoon. Isaiah Witherspoon on the hit. Tackle by number 42, Isaiah Witherspoon. Witherspoon's got bloodlines in his family. His father was an All-American defensive First back at Towson Bobcats. back in the early 90s. Played, uh, played with University of Maryland head coach Mike Lockley at Towson. So, How about uh, that? Witherspoon's a young kid, and we'll see if he develops. And uh, he came out of nowhere to make that tackle. It looked, looked like, like Ricketts had developed a, a line to get to the outside. I thought so too. And uh, Witherspoon acting like his father was shot out of a rock, <laughs> making Dad proud. Back to throw without a fake down the field. It's going to be incomplete. Broken up by the number 29, the motor, Kalen McCullough. Great play by the safety, timed it perfectly. Kalen McCullough making that uh, break up. It looked like uh, just about ready to make the reception. Was number three, Justin Dill. Yeah, it looked like it was gonna be a catch. The safety came in. McCullough, nice play. Nice throw by Brendan Pertel, put it right on the money. But Second as uh, you said, the safety came from McCullough just at the right time to break it up. Second down, 10 yards to go. Drive starting at the 30-yard uh, line, 31-yard line. Handoff, short game, Ricketts, nope, check it, it's number one, Tristan Smith. Boy, Smith has been bottled up today. Tackle by Vito. Vito. Aniazada, Vito. It's third. Down. Third down and long. Third down and about eight. What a stop this would be, Pat, for C. Milton. It, it, it would really build some momentum. We had a uh, three and out here. Wide receivers to the far side, two. 
for Tell. Long count. Hands it off. It's Reeves. He's not going to get the first down. Well, Stemke, who just scored that touchdown on the kickoff. And Stem indeed. Stemsky's been is doing as good a job as anybody I've seen in a while, filling the holes from the linebacker spot. There you Playing see it our, exactly like it's supposed to be played. Pat, you see six. our scoreboard counting down 6-16 six, and counting in the third period. 27-23, the Mustangs just about to get the ball back. C. Milton Wright's doing an excellent job of getting Bel Air into a third and long position. Bel Air, with that offense, is trying to get three yards of play, get themselves in a makeable fourth down, third down. They're just not designed to go third and long in that offense. Ashman says, I'm not going to kick it to Stemke again. Kicks it out First of play. Think about it, Stemke, who fumbled that ball on the previous punt uh, and, and was feeling down and, you know, on his own self. Then he catches the ball and goes 70 yards, and now he's feeling good about himself again, making that great tackle. I and now it's the Mustangs who have the momentum. I'd say he atoned for himself. He did. He felt terrible after yeah. fumbling the kick. Oh, yeah. And uh, he made up for it. He did. He yeah. I mean, what a game for the Mustangs. They come in as a low scoring team, a team that, you know, had averaged 17 points a game in its three games. They've already scored 27 in you know, less than uh, three periods of play against a very fine Bel Air team that comes in at two and two and one, two and oh in the games they actually played, lost that one forfeit game. Now let's see what the Mustangs can do. I think you're going to see a whole lot of Lance Lehman at this point. Lance Lehman with the tackle. Number 54, carry yeah. number 32, Lance, Lance Lehman. Let him roll and let the clock run. Yeah, 540 as that clock runs down. There Second you see Lehman. Four. You can see the size of this young man, but he's not only big and strong, but he's very elusive. Runs under control. Second down, four, rolling, being hemmed in, going back the other way. That's right. Hunter Wright breaks a tackle, finally taken down with a saving tackle. Caden Morris makes the saving tackle. Well, Wright wanted to go to his left there. Uh, felt some pressure, moved back, great run. Uh, reverse field, get the first down. Nice play. It really was. It looked like he had no place to go at all. He showed great quickness, did Hunter Wright. Not averse to running, 187 yards in three games coming in. Handoff. That's that man again. Right, Marino. Number 21, Chris no. Marino. It's Marino instead. Boy, they look so much alike. Uh, when they take off running, they have that same hesitation, and very, then boom. Very similar running styles. And boy, what a one-two punch, and then you throw Trayvon Jones First into that as well. Mustang. Both of them look well over 200 pounds. Yeah. We thought of C. Milton Wright as a passing team, but uh, they have run the ball uh, you know, very effectively here tonight. There's Marino again. Give credit to the offensive line. Cam Wood, Ryan Armentrout, Nick Domzowski, Big Vito, and Dante Jones. Second and seven. Second down, seven yards to go, pick up of three. Drive started on the 30-yard line for the Mustangs. They've now, in four plays, driven all the way inside the 40, inside the 35 to about the 33. Again, he like trips left. He likes to look for number 11 out of this formation. Oh, wrong. That's Marino. Good job of the Bobcats to close it out. Looks like Justin O'Bannon along Marino with Josh Galinas. Good deal. Marino gains maybe about a half yard. Bel Air was ready for that. Big third down play. Pat, what you call in here? Might be well, four down territory, but I mean, you want to pick it up in third down. Yeah, I, I like I like getting right out in space and then Hunter right out in space. Uh, he's he's quick, he's fast when he's got out there. He's been able to do so. So I like rolling him out, seeing if he's got something to somebody to throw to. If not, let him tuck it and run. He's been dangerous in the open field. Oh, they're in the I formation. They decided to go back. heavy. That's Marino following his blockers. He's going to be hit and taken down. It looks like number 18. Number 12. No, number 12, Matt Conroy. Marino on the carry. It's fourth down. Fourth down now, fourth and a long four. I mean, 
Well, they decided they <laughs> exactly opposite what I said. They decided to pack it in with double tight and go eye and, and go heavy, I guess, maybe with the thought that they're going to run two plays here. Definitely going on fourth, and they're oh. going to try to get four yards each play. Only picked up a couple on that one, so that leaves them with a big fourth down and four to go. Here's a big play of this game, another momentum-shifting play. If the Bobcats can stop them, they will take over. And the pistol here. Reverse. That's the reverse handoff. He's got some room. Miller's ready for it. That's 75. That's 75. O'Bannon. Boy, O'Bannon has played a whale of a game. Yeah, he's picking it up here in the First second half, Bobcats. too, making his presence known. The Bobcats will take over on downs. Not on my side, O'Bannon says. <laughs> Two minutes and nine seconds left in the third period. Again, O'Bannon, we talked about this young man at 6'4", 235, but he runs like a scat back. Yeah, he's got weight to put on that frame, too. Yeah. He's going to be a good ball player at the next level. Morgan State or Delaware State, the two colleges that he's looking at. Bel Air move. It'll cost the Bobcats five as they get started. Yeah, you see the Mustangs Bobcats. leading by 27-23. These, these little play. this is the second time this half they've done that. It just kills you, especially with the offense they like to run. They are not a spread it out team. Tied at halftime at 20-20. Beller took the lead on a field goal, made a 23-220. Uh, see Milton Wright came back with the touchdown. That's where we are. Brendan Pertell. Ready to throw. Throws the ball off with fingertips. They try to set up the quick screen out to the left. Uh, just Second down. That was a up. long way to throw the ball from Looking one hash mark all the way to the other side. Justin Dill, yeah. Not a lot of reward for a long risk. There you see the offensive coordinator sending in the play. Give you those coordinators as we get a chance. Jeff Smolucka, John Horgan, Julian Pickett, Devin Bauer, Steve Sollers, and Kyle Hamrick. Here's the handoff. This is going to be Smith. Smith on his feet. Well, Bel Air goes unbalanced to the right there. They got the tight end covered up with the two uh, receivers over there, and sometimes they'll go unbalanced like that, try to get you to shift and then come back the other way. And that's, that's what they did there. And, well, they got about eight out of it. Drive started on the 28-yard line for the Bobcats. Mustang phase, it's third down. Third down and a, a long six to go. Minute 27 and counting left in the third. Handoff, and that will come up short. I would not think the Bobcats would go for it here, but they've done it before, so let's see. Great play by Domzowski. They're going to send in Ashman. Last tackle, number 52, Nick Domzowski. Domzowski's a fire plug Four. in there on both sides of the Down. ball. Closing moments of the third period, 27-23, as you see. A wobbly kick coming down near the out-of-bounds line, and it will oh, nice go out-of-bounds. Kicking away from Stimke. First down, Mustangs. Mustangs will have the ball as the closing moments of this uh, third period, 27-23. That one whale of a high school football game between two teams that are desperate for a win, obviously, because they're both two and one, you can't afford another loss. And beyond that, it is Bel Air C. Milton Wright. Don't need to say any more. Thank you. Edgewood Aberdeen, Boston Bel Air, pick any rivalry you want, John Carroll Bel Air. Well, John Happy to Grace Aberdeen. John Carroll Bel Air for a long time was the big rivalry up here in the county seat. Mm -hmm. And uh, not playing this year, and but Seymour and Wright Bel Air has been coming on for a while. Yeah, yeah. The John Carroll Bel Air played last year, but not this year in football. The Battle of Bel Air. 
occurred early, of course, in the opening weeks of the season. Running the ball. Hey, number 15, Hunter Wright. Hunter Wright, the senior quarterback. Well, he is quite a dual threat, uh, Pat. He second can and ten. run, pass. He is. I've been. I've Excuse me, second and four. I knew he could throw the ball, uh, all Metro pitcher. I've been impressed with his ability to run as well. Uh, very quick. Uh, that's what I thought they might do down there in the, in the third and seven situation. And that is the end of the third period with our score 27 23. Mustangs 27, Bobcats 23. We've had, let's see, two ties in the game and three lead changes and more to come, I have a feeling. 27 23, the Mustangs are going to the fourth period at home with a four point lead. Strategy wise, uh, if you're if you're the the Mustangs with the ball, you've got a long field in front of you. What well, you want to chew up the time, take as much as you can, maybe take five minutes off score. That would be the ideal, wouldn't it? Th that would be ideal. I mean, you're you're rolling up one score. You can't get you can't get too conservative here. You have a whole quarter to go, uh, but at the same time, you're not in a hurry. Yeah, yeah. The Beller Bobcats, on the other hand, you know that they have so many weapons. You want to keep the ball out of their hands if you can. Just an impressive football game between two football teams that I think maybe were flying under the radar a little bit. The Bobcats, who of course had that issue during the summer, they got penalized for you know out of season training, lost a forfeit game at the beginning of the year, had to replace their coach right at the start of the season. They have been so resilient. They've come out firing, beating Haverty Grace and South Carroll. That's right, and, and C. Milton Wright, tough season last year, but they played a lot of young guys. Uh -huh. Very young, a lot of uh, juniors and sophomores playing last year. They, they've got some veterans here, and, and I know that they're excited about this season. Second down, about five, a short five. There he is, the man. Carry number 32, Lance Lehman. Lance Lehman with the carry. I hesitate because I have to make sure it's Lehman and First not Marino. Yes, they're like the two-headed monster, 121, the yeah. other 32. Yeah, that's exactly what you want to do with your C. Milton right. Keep the hands in one of those two, ball in the hands of one of those two big backs. Two hands on the ball. First down. First down at the 31-yard uh, line. Clock running at 11 minutes, 30 seconds left in the contest. Wide receivers coming to the near side. Four, four wide here. Dom Jankovic. No, it's kept by Wright. Nice faking. Wright stays on his feet, gets up Jack to about 15. the 38-yard line. I'm not sure that was a fake by the looks of uh, Lehman. He <laughs> turned around and looked like he should have had the ball. I'm not sure. <laughs> That's a good call. You know, I mean, he didn't follow that fake. He turned and looked after uh, the miss. I think. Said, hey, I'm supposed to have the ball. Pickup of uh, about five or six on first down by Wright. Carry Maybe, uh, by Wright. That's what they're now calling the RPO, the run pass yeah. option, where the quarterback has the option of handing yeah. off or passing or throwing or, or, or running the ball. Same formation, Jones uh, and Jankovic here to the near side. This time with the ball is Marino. Nice straight hand or straight arm, I should say. Goes out of bounds Harry after he picks up the first Chris down. Marino, first down Corey Kwamini with the tackle. Well, this is setting up perfectly for C. Milton Wright. Grinding it out, running the ball, first down. Clock will get going again, I think, here once they get the down, the guard marker set. Ten minutes, 30 seconds left in the contest. Mustangs taking this half out. Oh boy, you see the fans here on the, what, uh, what turns out to be now a Friday night lights with a game that started in the late afternoon. Here's Marino again. Good run, churning. Marino on the carry. And following Domzowski there, the center just doing a great job. Pressed with the C. Milton Wright offensive line. They're not big compared to Bel Air's offensive the line. They've, pl they've played well, though. Second and five. A little well, bit of surge, and uh, you know, Marina just kept it. He, you know, he was hit a yard off of the, yeah. the ball there, and he just kept his legs moving, and uh, 
you know, pro five yards he probably got there. Yeah, a little over five yeah. perhaps. It is a short five for the first down. They're right almost at the midfield stripe at the 48. Using that time, this uh, drive started back in the third period. We're now in the fourth period with about 9.40 left and counting. Light almost stumbles, cuts it back, has the first down and more. Number 15, Hunter Light. Wow. First down, Mustang. I am impressed with Back this, uh, Mr. Hunter Wright. He is such a great faker. You know, like you said on the one play, even faked out his own player thinking that he should have gotten the ball. Yeah, that's, uh, they've gone back to that play a couple times tonight. I can see why. Uh, I mean, you, you, you got a key on either Lehman or Marino, the, the big backs coming through, and, and you got somebody as quick as Wright going around the other side. I, I, the only thing, I, I'd like to see him, the, the ball's out there like a loaf of bread. I'd uh -huh. like to see him put it away a little tighter. Yeah. It makes me nervous. <laughs> right now in the pistol formation. Oh, there he is. Hit by O'Bannon, but still churning for yardage. Yeah, yeah. O'Bannon rules. What's the, the guy from the movie, O'Bannon rules? I'm sure he's heard that before. Back on the backfield, number 75 for the Bobcats. A little bit slow getting up and now clutching his leg as Lance Lehman. Boy, if you're the uh, Seamilton Wright coaching staff, looks like it might be a, uh, a cramp. Anytime you see that toe, you're tugging at it, trying to get uh, some stretch out into that calf muscle. Well, it was, uh, it was pretty hot when we started the game today. And uh, he's been playing both ways. And Again, I always say this, it's so good to see the athletic trainers. Uh, Pat, when you were playing, you had volunteer trainers, and they did a great job, no question about it. But these trainers are here every day at practice. You know, they're here every moment of the ball game. No, uh, that's... that's uh, we were very lucky. I th uh, we had uh, Larry Noel, Edgewood High School, I think about 73 or 74, had actually gone to athletic trainer school, and he volunteered. He actually ended up becoming a coach at Edgewood High School. Uh -huh. And uh, so it, uh, we had, he wasn't at practice. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, it's here for number 32, Lance Lehman. I think all at practice, Frank Mezzanotti was from the school to rub some dirt in and <laughs> hit it and run it off. But you uh, ain't hurt. Get up for, there. But for games, at least we had Larry Noel. Yeah. <laughs> you saw Lance Lehman raise his helmet to the stands as the fans gave him, you know, quite a, a hand. Now you see Twilight here settling in at Seamilton, right? Beautiful, yeah. beautiful day. As you said, Pat started out maybe a little bit warm, 80 some degrees probably. With. Uh, Lehman out. Seamilton Wright has the luxury of Marino. There's not much drop off there. Absolutely. Marino may even be a, a tad bit quicker. Pistol formation again. Marino gets the ball, shifts. He went one way, now it be the other. He's got the first down and more. Still on his feet down that sideline. Out of bounds he goes. Marino. This is an first impressive drive by the Mustangs. Mustang. All on the ground, running right at him. Drive started back at the 30 yard line. You're right, we have not seen a pass. It's a seven play drive now. Began late in the third period. We're now down to eight minutes, 12 seconds and counting left in the game. You see Milton right here, you're, again, you're not stalling, but you're, uh, you're not in a hurry either. You Let go in, score here, you're up by two scores. That's gonna be really tough, even for a quick strike team like Bel Air. Three wide receivers here to the near side. Pistol formation, give to Marino. Still on his feet, now finally taken down. Marino on the carry, 12 and eight on the tackle. Matt Conroy, the prime, primary tackler on the play. Beller, Beller needs to pull their necks here. They need to tighten up. Seven minutes, 30 seconds and counting. Now Jones goes out, back in is... Uh, Excuse me, 12 and nine on the tackle. Trying to see who came in. It looks like it's Marino in, yeah. Marino in at the uh, at the tailback in the pistol formation. Bel Air blitzing. Here it comes. Flag on the field. Now, could that be delay? They might have got somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah delay. Yeah, yeah, that's a, that's a mistake. That's going to back him up five. First down and 15 now. Second down, excuse me, and 15. 
I call it 13, second down at about 13 yards. I don't think you go away. Keep doing what you're doing if you're C. Milton right. Moreno off that left side, breaks a tackle. He's in touchdown. for the touchdown. Mustang. A 19-yard touchdown run. Don Beller defense looked tired on that play. They've been on the field a lot tonight. They were on the field a lot when it was hot early today. And uh, that was a that was a long drive. We're running right at you. Here's your replay. You'll see this cutback. Great blocking on that left just, side. Just great blocking. Nice kick out block by uh, 54, Brian. Uh, Armin. Armin Trout. I know, we, we, we yeah. don't have lights here. Not only did we get a bad vantage point, but now <laughs> we can't see our notes. <laughs> and my eyes are old. <laughs> Brian Armin Trout. But anyway, Brian, nice block there, 54. And the extra point. No, they're going to say, yeah. Uh, let's see what that, uh, let's see, did they call? I don't know. They, they called it like against uh. the Mustangs, but the touchdown was good, so that will be enforced I, on the kickoff. I, I just don't get this unsportsmanlike after every big play. I yeah. Mean. Jones with the extra point the extra right point through. Is good. Number 34, Trayvon Jones. And that will make the score 34-23, an 11-point lead, the biggest lead of the night for the Mustangs, and now the Bobcats find themselves down by two scores. The good news is they get a kickoff that they should get good field position based on where C. Milton Mike will have to kick after that unsportsmanlike uh, penalty. Yeah, well, well, first off, just a statement-making drive there by C. Milton Wright. Absolutely. Uh, you know, to start the ball at the end of the, or start with the end of the third quarter, take it into under seven minutes in the fourth quarter. That was all offensive line, C. Milton Wright. Offensive line and good hard running. Uh, Ten play drive, but 70 yards, 19 yard touchdown run but by Marino. But if you're Bel Air, you got to stay focused. You got a couple guys that can take it the distance. Uh, still got just under seven minutes left. You just need two scores. You're going to get field position here. So uh, keep your head up. It's plenty of time. Don't know what that unsportsmanlike call was, but it came after the touchdown. I, I I didn't see it either. I've never seen the game with so many unsportsmanlike after every score. I just. And again, the tensions between the two communities, I assume the officials were told to make sure the game is played close to the vest. I'm sure. Well, these two teams have played a whale of a game. Let's see if the Bobcats now. Pat, you talked about momentum. It's certainly gone the side of Seamilton Wright. High, high kickoff coming down. That's Ricketts. Ricketts has it at the 35. Breaks three down the middle. It's going to be hit and held at the 45-yard line. Jordan Bullis on the uh, tackle. Tackle by number 23, Jordan Bullis. There was a Jeff Bullis that played basketball for Bel Air about 35 yeah, that's, years that's ago. That's a nephew. Uh, <laughs> Jordan happens to be the grandson of my former secretary when I was working at the uh, at the school so, system. So, so Debbie, Bull, Debbie Bullis, uh, yeah, originally her maiden name Bullis. Debbie Everett, her married name. Back to throw now. Looking down the middle, has a man. It's going to be caught. Got him. Great, great catch. That's Ketchum. Ketchum knew he was going to take a shot. Came down with the ball. First down, Bobcats. So the Bobcats right back in business, taking over on their own 40-yard line. Yeah, nice throw by Portel. Had time to throw. Nice throw. Hit Ketchum right in the hands, and Ketchum didn't miss it. Beller trips right. on the field. Interesting, uh, Tristan Smith over here on the sideline. I saw him stretching his calf earlier. I'm not sure if he's got a cramp or not. Yeah, number one, you're right. You'd think he'd be in the game at this point. Offsides, Bobcats. Brock Ketchum with that catch. You Still, talk, first you talk about uh, guys with appropriate names. <laughs> As a wide receiver called Ketchum. Ketchum up. Yep. yep. Well, he certainly did that. that he knew he was going to take a shot. First down and 15 now. Faking the throw, now throwing oh, the ball. It. He's got a man open, oh. just overthrew him on the far side. Pass incomplete. Great play by Brendan Pertell. He faked, had his attacker go up in the air and then went right under him and then threw the ball. That was a nice play stepping up in the pocket. Too many, 
too many young quarterbacks like to run out to the right or left, and that's where the rush is coming up field. You're, the, the, you, that's why they, they call it the pocket. Step up in the pocket. He did. He had a guy and just missed him. Just got a little bit over the wrong shoulder. And showed that great arm, too. Bring up now a second down and 15. Six minutes, 11 seconds. Clock stop. Inside handoff. That's Reeves. Tackled there by 74, Deontay Jones. Tackled by number 74, Deontay Jones. All right. Clock running at 557. There's Smith, number one, back in the game. I guess he's okay. It's third down. Clock Her catch him coming off to the hugs of his coaches. They appreciate the fact he went up and made that great catch. Well, third and 12 here. Bel Air needs to get some positive play. Four down territory, obviously. This is Smith. He's going to be hit and held. I don't think play by 52. Domzowski. Yep, that is Nick Domzowski. Tough. Tackle for number 52, Nick Domzowski. Now it's fourth down and nine, and it certainly it's four down territory. Five minutes and 18 seconds and counting. Mustang fans, it's fourth. Down. Hey, interesting call there, third and 12, and you run your small Let's back you yeah. inside without a lead blocker. I'm just not sure I understand that. Well, here's the big play of the game. If the Mustangs can hold here and take the ball over, up two scores. Bell Air the field. Bell Air moved, I thought. Yeah, you got it, Pat. That's going to cost him another five. That's, All sides, five That's at least for this half. Coach's got to clean that up at practice. Let's hear it for that Mustang defense. I know the crowd's making a lot of noise over there for C. Milton, but you gotta, you got to stay focused. Four minutes, 45 seconds. Ten yards on this position with, uh, with, the, with the penalties. Fourth down, 13. Back to throw without a fake. Rolling, being pressured all the way back to the 50. Now throws. It's going to be that catch him. Is it intercepted? What a Mustang. tremendous try by Ketchum. He goes up, but the ball caromed off his hands, and it will be Mustang ball as Pertel comes up. For number 29, a little Kaylin bit uh, limping. Well, great play by Pertel. He had pressure, scrambling around. He uncorked it, and he gave his guy a shot. He had a, he had a chance to catch that. And Ketchum had it in his hands, but that's great defense by the C. Milton Wright Mustangs. Now with 4.32, Certainly the game is not over because it's two scores, but if the Mustangs can play like they've been playing, you run that clock. You're, you're in the huddle, you're, you're, you're telling your linemen, listen to the count, you're probably going everything on one here. Don't want to get a penalty. Uh, right. Two hands on the ball, you, you, you're, you, they're going to be trying to strip the ball. Uh, you, you know, make sure you, uh, ball security here is the most important thing. Good D. It is. Marino on a carry. Marino carries the ball. He stopped for almost no gain. 12 on the tackle. At what point, Pat, do you begin using your timeouts if you're Bel Air? You've got three in the, if, in the bank. I think if you stop him on this play, I think you start. I think after the, if you stop him here on second down, I think you got to call one. Second so and 10. This snap will come inside four minutes. Again, the lead now is a. Is yeah. 11 for C. Milton. Now you don't have a play clock, but to, if you're the quarterback, you got to be looking for the head draft. He'll start counting. There he goes. Or you'll start counting a 10 count. He'll usually give you a 10 count. Hand off. Oh, that was a shaky hand. Marino, handoff. yeah, it was. And it was a. Low Marino's going to get a first hey, down. Whoa. Low, low snap and shaky handoff, but that. Uh, first down, Mustang. Boy, great play by Pertel to be able to handle that snap and then get the handoff. And also great hands by. Uh, Marino, who then carries it for the first down. And, Pat, that could be a killer right there. Oh, yeah. Now you're going to have to start thinking about using your timeouts if you're Bel Air. I think you got to use them uh, after this play. you got to start. Three minutes, 20 seconds. By the time this is snapped, it will be near the 310 mark. Hand off, Marino. Well, I think uh, you hit it, Pat. That Bel Air defense looks tired. They're tired. They, they played a lot of football when it was hot in Harry, the first quarter. 21, Taurus Marino. What a two-headed monster. Yeah. Lehman hits you and first then Marino hits you. Mustang. And when you think, well, that's enough, they bring in Jones. And then, of course, don't forget this quarterback. 
you know, who has done a great, great job. Hunter Wright for C. Milton Wright. Well, you, you, you're getting your brain speed up by those guys, and Hunter Wright counters, and uh, he's quick. Inside three minutes now. There's the handoff. Yeah, they're and just that's the man, him. Lehman. Another well, first down. Bel Air's helpless right now. They can't stop him. Seamount right offensive line feels it. There's no better feeling for an offensive lineman <laughs> than this. You, you know, you're rolling, you know they're tired, and it's an offensive lineman's dream to be on a drive like this. Brian Norman Trout, Cam Wood, Nick Domzowski, Vito Aniozato, Deontay Jones. They have had quite a game. Two minutes, 25 seconds. There he is, Lehman. Goes all the way down to just about the 10 Eric yard line. 32, that's Lehman. First down, Mustang. Tackle by number 23. Well, for all intents and purposes, it looked like the Mustangs will win this Battle of Bel Air. We don't want to, you know, be premature, but certainly beyond the Battle of Bel Air, this gives them their third win of the season. Remember, they had lost to Haverty Grace, and Beller had defeated Haverty Grace by a lopsided score. Right. South Carroll, they had both beaten, but Beller had won by, a, again, a lopsided score. That's Marino. Nice tackle out there on the far Marino side. On the carry. Clock running at a minute 40. Second and five. Bobcats, after having that opening forfeit loss had won two games by a wide margin. Well, if you're Jim French, your first year as the head coach, although you've coached for 53 years and you know well over 20 some years here at Seamilton Light in a number of different sports. On the field. Mustang fans, pay attention, Mustang fans. We need you to stay in the stands. Bel Air fans will be leaving before the Mustang fans, so please. Stay in the stand. Hear that announcement on our uh, PA system. And again, it has to do with the tensions that have been experienced between the two communities. And I don't think the Mustang fans are going to mind staying seated and watching the Bel Air fans leave. I think they were going to stay and celebrate with their team anyway. Yeah. Legal substitution there on C. Milton, but uh, no big deal. Minute 18 left, 34 23, as you see the 11 point lead for C. Milton Wright. Bel Air's uh, not taking their timeouts. C. Milton should probably okay, just kneel on it here. Pat, we're running a bit long with this game with all the penalties and the time taken, so we won't have time to do uh, interviews after the game, and we'll wrap it up rather quickly after the game just to say it's been a really interesting, fun game. Nice tackle there. Is that Ricketts? Yeah, Ricketts, Ricketts. Really upsetting. Point being is that it was 20-20 at the half. Beller came out and took a 23-20 lead on a field goal. But C. Milton Wright has scored the last two touchdowns to make it 34-23. Field goal by Ashman, Darius Ashman. Base mask, Bobcats. 23-20, that made it. But then uh, Stemke made that kickoff return. That's the big turning point of the game, the 70-yard kickoff return. Jones adding the extra point. That gave C. Milton Wright the 27-23 lead. And then Marino with that 19-yard touchdown run that's the sort of clinching or insurance touchdown scored about, what, 10 minutes ago. Yeah, the, the, the kickoff return by Stimpsy after, after the field goal from Bel Air. And keeping the ball and staying in bounds is Hunter Wright. Inside a minute now. Bobcats Third not calling timeout. Probably the sportsmanlike thing to do in terms of, you know, how you're going to score two touchdowns in a minute period of time. Well, now the clock is stopped. Did they call their timeout? I think he, I think he went out of bounds on that. And he may have it, which, of course, that'll give you, as a coach, something to tell your team about. Yeah, it was a great game, except you went out of bounds when we wanted the clock to run. Yeah. You know how coaches are, Pat. <laughs> they've, they've, they have, there's always something to work on. Always have to find a negative. And, of course, the hey, 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 goodbye chant coming from the C. Milton Wright fans. I'm sure Bel Air fans will hear that on the way out tonight. Fumble. Fumble flags flag. go down. Uh, flag yeah. on the field. That, those flags are on the confrontation between the two wideouts, the wideout and the cornerback. I think Seymour Wright recovered the fumble. Mustang fans, we need you to stay in your seats. 
allow the Bobcat fans to We don't have first, uh, official stats, but I think this may break a record for a number of penalties in a game. It's, it's, it's got to be at least 30, <laughs> don't you think? I don't know if I've ever seen one with more. I mean, it's uh, I mean, I guess we're ending it the way we started, and it's been like this the whole way with penalties. I, C. Milton Wright needs to just kneel on the ball here. Beller's not All calling the timeouts. Uh, a lot of personal fouls, bad blood. Yep. You, you got the game won, double score. Just just kneel on the ball here and get out of here before anybody gets hurt. Yeah. It's been a tremendous game by both teams. They have played hard. The C. Milton Wright Mustangs, who again came in as the decided underdogs Fourth down. based on the results coming in have just given their home fans a great treat here this afternoon and now this evening. Handoff. This is Stemke. It's either 24 or 34. Staying in bounds. First down, Bobcats. Clock stops as they set the, no, no, that was the fourth down. I'm sorry, that it was, was a fourth and uh, Fourth down play, and so the Bobcats will take over with 39 seconds left. Well, can you score twice in 39 seconds? I guess you could. Nothing's impossible. I would say it would be <laughs> highly improbable. Well, you talked about the going out of the bounds, not that it's probably going to make a difference, but yeah. the, the game would be over if he didn't go out of if bounds. If I'm Jim seconds. French and I'm the C. Milton Wright coach, yeah. yeah, that'll be my, after I say great game, congratulations, but penalties, mental errors. Let's see what the Bobcats come up here with 39 seconds left. Pass to the far side. That's Ricketts. Taken Tackle down. Number 48, Brandon Lawrence. And taken down in bounds. The clock continues to run, 25, 24, 23. That looks like it's gonna be our final score. Somebody's heard it's the Beller Bobcat who's down, clock stops. Mustang band cranks up. But I really like the band staying and gentlemen, the it. whole We're game. Three for the Bobcats. They did a great job at halftime. We're talking about the Mustang band. They stayed for the whole game. They're now playing. Ms. Harris, the principal here at uh, Seamilton Wright, is the new principal. Well, my wife, Kristen, is an alumnus of the C. Milton Wright band. She'd be proud of them. She's uh, a little, band uh, her divided loyalty is a teacher at uh, Bel Air. And a Teaches at Bel Air, C. Milton Wright yeah. alum. Andrew Gerard, the AD, always want to give the ADs credit. Uh, Tony, uh, Tony Blackburn, the Bel Air AD, stopped around and offered us a nice cold drink. That I thought was that nice was of nice Tony. of Tony, yeah. yeah. He's a good guy. And, of course, uh, Jim French, the C. Milton Wright coach, and Eric Sigel, the Bel Air coach, want to thank them for all their help. And, Second and Pat ten. Pollard, uh, as always, uh, or the twice now, actually three counting last year, another great thank job. You. Thank you. I think uh, you've got a future in this game. <laughs> so, well, great ball game tonight. A lot of action to call tonight. There wasn't much we had to uh, come up with mater for material tonight. I think <laughs> so. And Pat, I have to say one more time, this time next week you will be a member of the Edgewood High School Hall of Fame. So well deserved. Congratulations for that. Thank you. Thank you. This could be the last play. Is that safety. a safety? That will be a safety, and what a way to end the game for C. Milton Wright. They'll go now up by 36-23. Number 74, making the tackle, Deontay Jones. Deontay Jones with the tackle. I'll tell you what, if you're looking for stars of this game, Justin O'Bannon the defensively for Bel Air, certainly a star. Lehman, Hunter Wright, I mean, well, you could just pick them. Well, we're not over yet to safety. 13 seconds left, so we're going to have to get a punt from uh, kickoff from Bel Air. Tough, tough night. Uh, I mean, you've been on this uh, not that one season when you're undefeated, Pat. You've suffered defeats uh, against your arch rival, and it's a tough pill to follow. Somebody told me, and I think it's true, defeats are worse than victories are great. I would agree with that. Yep. You put so much into it. There's, there's so much effort and so much emotion and so much time into it. Uh, it's it's tough to lose, especially to your rival like this. Oh, yeah. I okay. imagine the Mustangs will uh, take over the IHOP over uh, 
in Bel Air tonight. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be a fun time in the Bel Air area <laughs> if you're a Mustang. Everybody be safe out there. We're live streaming this game, so if you're watching us live, uh, you know, just to keep calm and take this game as intended, that is in the spirit of competition. Ashman to punt the ball away. There and they go. will take a knee, or in this case, take a seat, which is the wise thing to do. Well, Sue Milton Wright should just kneel on it here, and we can finally get out of here. This is like an NFL game from it the is. time It's standpoint. been a long game. We started in <laughs> mid-afternoon. It's now midnight, isn't it, midnight? I think the temperature's <laughs> dropped about 20 <laughs> degrees since we started. Uh, we will have to take all feeling you here early, so we're going to try to wrap it up as we go. Uh, Hunter uh, Wright to Anthony Ripitella, the first touchdown for C. Milton Wright. Jalen Reeves ran a 60-yard uh, run for Bel Air. That made it 7-7. Hunter Wright, a five-yard run, made it 13-7. Jalen Reeves, a five-yard run. It was 14-13, favor of Bel Air. Tristan Smith, a 65-yard punt return. Trayvon Jones, a six-yard run. 20-20 at the half. And that's the end Scores of the game. Scores here in the second half, a field goal. With your 23 20 for Ashman. And then two catch, touchdowns. 23. Stanley game on both sides of the ball, and boys. Marino, the Great touchdowns in the second half for C. Milton Wright. 34 23, topped off with a safety, made the final score 36 23. For C. Milton Wright, they go to 3 and 1 on the year. Miller Bobcats are at 2 and 2. Pat Pollard, any closing remarks? Well, uh, tough game for the Bobcats tonight. I think they probably came in a little bit favored. A lot of football left to play, though, this year. Uh, for C. Milton Wright, that's a program on the rise. I mean, I know that, like I said earlier, they played a lot of young guys last year. Uh, they're starting to feel themselves, get it together. Uh, new coaching staff this year for the most part. Uh, you know, I know that they got, uh, you know, I'm partial. They got uh, the secret weapon, Keith Rawlings, helping them out as a consultant. Yep. And uh, I know Keith's pretty high on them. And uh, they're getting better and better. So look out for the Mustangs. Speaking of Edgewood High School Hall of Famers, uh, Keith Rawlings, yep, he's up in uh, Yale tonight uh, with his son quarterbacking there. So that is our final score, 36-23 for Pat Pollard. I'm Don Morrison. Hope you've enjoyed this high school game of the week. Final score, Seymour to right winning by 36-23 over their arch rivals, the Bel Air Bobcats. Good night, everyone.